Is it working now? <laughs> My mic was broken in so many ways. <laughs> First it was muted. Then when I finally unmuted it, um, it was accidentally on monitor only. <laughs> Then when I finally got that working, the wrong mic was set up for my input. <laughs> I spent so much time trying to get my face working, which by the way failed, so we're gaming in 3D today. Uh, yeah, that was something. <laughs> I kinda don't hate the idea of gaming in 3D for PS5 though. I mean, for Stellar Blade, I kind of wanted to use 3D anyway. <laughs> because with Stellar Blade, um, I don't know. I, I just kind of like using the bunny outfit for Stellar Blade. It feels very fitting. I actually kind of want to modify. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I want to actually tell you guys a bit about my plan for Stellar Blade. Hmm. Um, I think it would be really, really cool. If when Stellar Blade comes out, if I can make like a mech version of my costume. Not necessarily a mech, maybe just something like a little more futuristic. Like with a few kind of cyborg-y parts attached to my bodysuit. And maybe some like mech type wing. Some sort of futuristic outfit. I want to try to like set up something with a bunch of different props. Um, and see if we can have some sort of really cool outfit. <laughs> I haven't decided yet. Um, if we're going to keep doing, um, the booty cam or not for Stellar Blade. So, if you have any strong feelings about how you want me to play Stellar Blade, you're gonna have to let me know. Because I, I might remove it because it takes so much space. <laughs> but I feel like a lot of you guys might have liked it too, so I don't know. I haven't fully decided yet, but I will, I will think about it. Mm -mm. Give me one sec. I wanna crank one thing up if I can. Hmm. Oh, wow. There. <laughs> I figured out how to modify um, my face tracking so my face can be like extra animated now. Um, Cause I noticed sometimes when I use 3D it kind of like freezes and doesn't do very much. Um, there's apparently a slider. Yeah. <laughs> So now we can have expressions cranked way up to the max. I think my eyes are going too far. They're like rolling in the back of my head. So <laughs> maybe we can have like a middle ground here where my eyes aren't rolling back into my head. <laughs> ah, I don't know. I think I think this this looks kind of a good balance. Maybe. Ah. Mm -hmm. Cardboard Gundam would be pretty funny though. I actually was thinking jokingly if I ever went to like conventions in person for meet and greets, Cardboard Gundam would be the way to go. <laughs> Perfectly safe. How to have a meet and greet as a VTuber in person without a face reveal, Cardboard Gundam. It's always the answer. I can even have it made of PlayAsia boxes. <laughs> But it's probably, unfortunately, something I can't do anyway because it'd probably be unsafe. Just on the odd chance that some weirdo comes in and tries to rip the box off my head. I don't think any of you guys would, but you never know if some other, like, con attendee might be like, rrr, rrr, rrr. Oh my god, I have, I have so many redeems. <laughs> Hold on! Hold on! Uh, eh. Let me figure out what is going on here. It's been so long since I played this game, too. It's gonna take me a while to even remember what is happening i don't i don't know <laughs> uh, let me scroll down really really quick hold on ah uh, hello patrick connor and josh and yalter and c14 and brandon said oh yeah for the um oh my god i'm so animated with this new arm tracking i'm so glad i figured out how to use it i can i can go crazy if I switch to playing Final Fantasy 15 on PS5 in the future, I can potentially use this for like um, 14, sorry, as well. Because then if I'm playing 14, whenever we get to a really dramatic part, I can like freak the fuck out. <laughs> right now, I don't think my PC could handle it. I do really like my 2D model for 14 though. But I don't know, being able to talk with my hands is also kind of fun. <laughs> Uh, let me know, um, the letter to the producer. Do you guys know how long that might be today? 
I, I'm feeling like it might be dangerous for me to watch anyway, but if it's gonna be specifically about stuff that's not spoilery and not too long, I might try to tune in whenever it's open. Hello, Carnival, Pilaf, and Vongola, and C14 on Twitch, and Musk, and Dark Shadows, and Bot, Ballistic Brows, and Tangmeister, and Abaku, and Nike Slim, and Ro, and Mercenary, and also Mackus! Pam is real? What do you mean? What do you mean I'm real? I'm never real. Of course I'm not real. That's why I have to have a cardboard Gundam. I need to puppet it. Like, you know, in Full Metal Alchemist, how it's like just a suit of armor? Same concept, but like just boxes. That's why I'm scared someone would try to rip the box off my head because then they would notice there's nothing inside. And you know, um, I might get sent to like some paranormal organizations trying to figure out what's going on. <laughs> I, I want to keep streaming. I don't want to. I don't want to be in some weird laboratory. I want to keep streaming. <laughs> People can't know the truth. No one can handle the truth. One thing that's been patched in since you last played is a costume option. It's a big stone monument thing in the central area of the hideout. Ooh. Can maybe try to check it out if I remember. Um. Does anyone remember? Oh, it's it's like 18 hours long. Holy shit! Okay, we're gonna ignore that. <laughs> We'll follow up on Monday during Final Fantasy XIV. Um, whatever you guys say is important. <laughs> um, also, um, oh, what was I going to say? I don't remember. Never mind. <laughs> oh, Greg Johnson. Uh -uh, a bot and a box. I'm not a bot. It's just, just a box. <laughs> Alphonse Pam. Basically, yeah. Except, you know, a little more fragile even because of cardboard. You know, cardboard's not very powerful, so. <laughs> also, thank you, teacher, for 33 months. Dang, that's some cool tracking. Yeah! It's just, it's just the webcam one again. I found a really nice option, and it's actually going to be updated. Right now, you see my arms going through my booba. Like, literally. Like, of course, it, it kind of bangs it, but it also goes right through it. Like, right now, my arms are in the booba. Um, they actually supposedly have a solution for that coming out soon as well. I wonder if you can see my full stretches like this, if it does them accurately. Nope, I'm not in camera range. It's like breaking one of my arms. It can't fully track my stretches. It knows that I'm stretching, but it can't figure out quite what it looks like. <laughs> I can, I can put my, my, um hands behind my head in reality, but it's in my face. Um, no, anyway, there's a tracking update coming out and then it's gonna have better colliders. <laughs> so you can expect it to be better in the future. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad, TJ, but funny Westwood. Only like two letters, two hours is a live letter. The two hours still might be a bit much for my stamina today. Oh, do you guys wanna know what streams I'm doing tomorrow? Mm -hmm. I can tell you real quick in case anyone has to leave so that's not too late. Um, I am actually doing, um, two very exciting streams tomorrow, so it's probably worth talking about a little bit. Um, I am gonna be doing a collab with Hiragi Emori, and that's gonna be at 1 p.m. EST, so it's a little bit easy, or a little bit earlier than you guys are used to, because we're raiding into the VTuber Symphony Orchestra cover of Lacrimosa. Um, we're gonna be doing some Ghibli songs on flute and violin, and I haven't played flute in months, so it's going to be very bad. <laughs> but it'll it'll be fun. I'm excited. I'm very very excited. <laughs> it's going to be a very chill time, probably only around two hours, so that we can read into the song cover, and then um on YouTube in the evening. Um, I'm going to be having, well actually the announcement is going to be before any of my streams. So first of all, tomorrow there's an announcement. I cannot even give you a hint as to what that announcement may be. Except what I can say is that it's not a bad announcement, so don't start getting freaked out. <laughs> it's not a bad announcement, it's one of the reasons I've been very busy and very overwhelmed. But you'll find out, you'll find out. For some of you, it's probably going to be very exciting. Some of you probably won't care. But it's going to be an announcement tomorrow. Um, before a stream, but I'll talk about it in more detail during the second stream, which is going to be Nikkei! There's a new, um, side story that apparently is really, really good. So I wanted to check out the side story, and we can hang out and do that in the evening. And then I'm going to also be actually joining another content warning collab. I might stream my POV on just Twitch, or I might not stream it this time. But I'm gonna be joined by, I believe, Maddie and Ami Amami and Milky Queen. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> it's only 
gonna be a short one as well, so um, two of the streams today are gonna be pretty short, so three is feasible. <laughs> the next day is my, my break, so it's fine. <sighs> it's fine. Oh, wait, did you finish your taxes? Sadly, no. Sad. <laughs> you know, don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> three streams, a song cover release, and an announcement. Yes. Don't forget, the VTuber Symphony Orchestra um, song cover is coming out on Endless Channel, but I sang in it and I played flute, so that's four things tomorrow. It's a big day. I'm so tired. <laughs> it's Sterling. No, 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 no. Somebody was joking. Somebody was joking about graduation. I'm not graduating. <laughs> I don't have any intent. Like, uh, how, do, how do I say this? You know, be, being a VTuber, it's one thing where, like, especially a Corpo VTuber, you never know if you can do it forever because I, I would love to say that, but it's like, it's outside of your control, really, if you can do it forever or not. But right now, I have no plans of leaving and there's nothing, there's no indication from anyone else that there's any, any hint of me leaving. So I don't know, you guys are stuck with me for at least a long time, I think. <laughs> as long as I can get away with you being stuck with me, you're stuck with me. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Hold on, I'm gonna have some drink. Mm. Oh, does he chance? Aw, oh, man, you can really just see me have a big sip of my wrist twisting when I try to drink this. Mm. Oh, this is so good. You've been talking about doing taxes since like, January, so I've done it. No! No, 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 no! Listen, I've been making progress. I. You know! Benefits of being 3D. What I don't see can't hurt me. There's no taxes. All I see is a pretty horizon. I see mountains and snow and so many places that I can flee. <laughs> so many places that I can flee when they come for me. Not even because I'm trying to avoid my taxes. Because I'm so bad at getting them done that I can't remember they're gonna come for me. <laughs> Listen, if you made your taxes easier to do, they would be done already! <laughs> this is your fault, IRS, for having such a fucked up stupid system! <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't see any taxes. What do you mean, taxes? I'm just gonna go live in the mountains where no one can track me. There's no Wi-Fi, no anything. If they can't find me, they can't arrest me. <laughs> this is fine. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Don't look at me. <laughs> Don't look at me. Ah. <laughs> uh. One day, I will defeat the taxes. That day is not today. <laughs> Pain. I love how you can talk and help us again. Um, to be fair, in my defense, I'm almost done the 2022 taxes. There was one thing out of my control that I was waiting on. I still haven't gotten it. So my only option now is basically to admit defeat and send it without it. Um, but now it's been so long since I contacted the tax person, even though I promised I would contact them in January, that I'm so, I'm so embarrassed, and my anxiety is so high I can't contact them. I just start crying when I open my emails. <laughs> I can't do it! <laughs> I, I, I would, I would, I'm so scared they're gonna yell at me that I can't even do it! And I, I know they wouldn't even yell at me. That's the worst part. <laughs> but I'm so scared they will. And I just I can't, I can't, I can't face everyone. I can't do it. <laughs> it's entirely a me issue. I just can't do it. Uh, have someone else call for you? I feel like that's almost even more mortifying. Because then it's like, I'm not even, I'm not even capable enough to like contact for myself. It's like, I, I really, one of my biggest fears is like being viewed as incompetent because I have a lot of pride. Even when I'm bad at stuff, I have a lot of pride. 
Um, I've always been a perfectionist. I like to be good at things and on top of things. So when I drop the bar for anything like that, it's like it, it really hits a sore spot for me. Mm. I, ha I have a lot of pride in being competent. I think part of it, um, I think part of it, not to like yap about random shit, but I think part of it is because, you know, you hear my voice, you hear my voice. When someone's on the smaller side and they sound like this, they're not, they're not usually given a lot of respect. Like people, people often treat me like I'm stupid or like I'm a kid. Like they'll, they'll actually just treat me like I don't know anything and don't know how to do anything. Um, not so much my family, but like outside stuff. Like if I go to the store or whatever, people are like fighting to help me. They just look at me and they can see how like the incompetence. <laughs> and I don't like being viewed that way. So I've always worked really hard to be able to do everything myself. And I, I like to kind of prove that I'm capable before people have the chance to look down on me, if that makes sense. So it's like any possible time where I drop the ball and people can look down on me, I just want to like die. <laughs> I can't deal with it. Mm -hmm. So we get the phone and the phone and be like, where are your parents? Yeah, the good thing is I only answer my phone very rarely. So the few times it's someone if they don't know me and it's like a scammer or an ad, I just don't pretend, I pretend to be the kid. It's like, where are your parents? I'm like, ah, uh, they died or something. <laughs> They start getting really confused and freaked out. And I'm like, that's what you get for trying to scam me. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, the little fun thing about it. I can use my voice for evil when I want to. Oh, Maurice, honey. Uh -huh. yeah, you have that aura of permanently lost. Same. Aw, <laughs> uh, man. I think, I think that's a big part of um, why I needed to go see the Eclipse recently. I've been feeling really like under the weather and kind of like very useless and like there's there's so many things i felt behind on that i couldn't catch up and i kind of felt more like every day i was just failing worse i needed to walk away and like prove that i could do something for myself like i got myself i took a plane the morning of i went da i went downtown i got eclipse glasses i went back i saw the eclipse i beat traffic got back to the airport and at that point, I was like, oh, yes, I am a capable adult. <laughs> I think even more than seeing the eclipse, I just needed to prove to myself that I wasn't, like, a useless waste of space. <laughs> uh, also, I'm having Kyle and Logan Davis. Uh -huh. Anyway, Final Fantasy 16. Yeah. <laughs> I think we left off um, pretty close after the Titan fight. Because I know we beat Titan, and I was trying to rack my brain for the longest time. Because I thought we did another stream after that, but I guess we didn't. Because when I looked it up eight months ago was the last time I played this, and it was the Titan fight. I was remembering Shiva, I think, being involved, but I feel like maybe that was Jill transforming. And I thought that was like a separate incident, but I think it was part of the same section. <laughs> it was a really big section. Mm -mm. I think we're around halfway done the game or so. Um, for this game, is there a place where you can read a summary of recent stuff that happened or what you're doing now? I've been trying to find it, but I'm not really sure where it would be. I'll probably manage without it, but I feel like it would be really helpful just for like a quick refresher to see where the fuck I'm at now. <laughs> I did hear I'm getting close to a really good part, so today if we do some grinding next time, I'm hoping to play a bit more next week. After that, Stellar Blade's coming out, so uh, we'll see. <laughs> Stellar Blade is probably going to be my main priority when Stellar Blade comes out. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you guys want to see Stellar Blade anyway. Let's face it. You guys really want to see that. The touch oh, yeah, that was it, wasn't it? The touchpad brings up the notes. Mm -hmm. Active time lore. So I wonder if this will tell me. This tells me at least what's relevant to what's going on. So the hideaway, that's where we are right now. The new location. Um. Uh. Okay. Why can't I? Hold on. I can't. Oh, there we go. So, establish under the leadership of Clive Rosfield, which is we're going to the new Sid. Oh yeah. <laughs> How is Erico? Um. Who took on the title of Sid after his former leader's passing and Titan's destruction of the old hideaway? Um. On here, a community. Oh my God! You can see my hand behind my. <laughs> on the wall 
3D, just exposing all my bodily habits. <laughs> oh, what's Stinky Socks too? Um, on here, a community of like-minded individuals from across the realm have gathered to build a place where people can live and die on their own terms. Yes, I'm just trying to remember why we're collecting stuff for Sid mainly. That, or mid, that's what I don't remember. Like its predecessor, it is built within the fallen ruins, deep within the deadlands of the central storm. I think we're going after one of the other crystals to take them down. However, it is located at the center of a lake. Benumir. Across these waters, any invading enemy can easily be spotted long before their arrival. Mmm. The journal section says the quest and stuff? Where's the journal? Um, would it say what Midadol is doing here? Um, I think we're just building... Oh, yeah, he's dead. <laughs> I think that's just, um... Mm. Okay, so he's the main one in charge. Engine stuff for the airship? Yeah! That's what I thought. We were collecting engine stuff, weren't we? Are we trying to go to one of the next crystals? Is that it? Like, there's no major, 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 major... Ah! I'm sorry. I'm going to pick that up right now because I really need to eat that. <laughs> my, my Kuroke went flying. I landed on a blanket that I used for soundproofing, but it hit really high up, so it's not like feet ever touch that or anything. I'm going to have to eat it. I got fried fish in Kuroke because I was in a hurry. Uh -huh. Min -min? Mm. Hmm. What's going on with my eyes? The fuck? Mm. I feel like five second rule. Maybe it doesn't apply. Hmm. <laughs> We're landing on fabric. Landing on fabric stuff can get rather nasty. Mm -hmm. Oh! Mmm! Thank you. Okay, I remember the Titan section quite well. So this should help me. Clive returns to the hideaway and sets about spreading glad tidings that Hugo Kupka, the man who crushed their former home and saw many of their friends slaughtered, is no more yet yeah, fucking Titan idiot. Those who lost their lives with that faithful knight are avenged. I'm sorry, I'm stretching. You can see it every time. This is <laughs> this is awful. The tracking is too powerful. Those who lost their lives that faithful knight are avenged, and those lucky enough to survive can now live in fear that they might one day return. Okay. What if it lands on dirt? Except your death. <laughs> Except your death if it lands on dirt. Ew, why is it wet? It must be wet from the bowl. Because I'm feeling the blanket, and the blanket's not wet. Oh god, why is it wet? Ew. Hmm. I'm gonna save the kronke for last, and maybe I won't eat it. Or I'll reheat it a bit so it can kill any germs. Mm -mm. All right, so we're making, we're going back to basically report that that all happened and go back to the floor deck. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Let's get these mini side quest shit done. Wait till I have an outfit that shows my pits. Have you seen my bunny outfit? <laughs> I wanted to use it for Stellar Blade. Now I'm questioning my life. <laughs> Even this outfit, if I take off the cape, the cape is censoring me right now. The cape, the cape. <laughs> the cape makes the pits look rather fluffy. <laughs> Which is even funnier. Have you seen mid? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you guys hear the game? Volume is okay? Or do you need it adjusted? Then I'm too late. Mm -hmm. oh, you in a hurry at all, are ya? Mm -hmm. oh, I offered to take her across, but she wouldn't wait. Just paid for a dinghy and rode off. Oars go like the clappers. She just left. <laughs> <laughs> Got some life in her, ain't she? But anyway, I was on my way up to see you, as it happens. Got mm -hmm. a letter for you. Probably Literally some side quest for a while. Of it. One of your uncle's men said I was to hand it to you in mm -hmm. person, post bleeding haste. Man, you're here now. Hold on, I should move Thank myself you, a bit more. 
Cause there's some text there that's getting a little buried. We'll just hang out in this spot. <laughs> Hopefully we're not blocking anything here. Mm -mm. Sounds good, okay. A request for some assistance. Oh yeah, he's alive. I'm, I'm blocking him. You can't see who it is. Oh, I miss this guy. <laughs> my dear boy, my journey to Canva has been a resounding success. The friend I mentioned not only agreed to share the contents of his strong box with us, but his considerable knowledge of the goings on in the free cities by which I learned of the endeavors of a certain young friend of yours. Though I, for one, believe Miss Telemann's project to be quite the valiant enterprise, I doubt the Canvarian authorities will take kindly to the unauthorized use of their dockyards, no matter how deserted. And if rumor has already reached my friend, it may not be long before the guildmasters are rapping at our door. This is why I pen you this note. I would like you to borrow the man, your man, <laughs> Gav, for a moon. Oh, oh really? You want me to borrow Gav for a moon or two? <laughs> Then he might keep watch with those who might mean our little fellowship ill and warn us of any impending attack. I trust that you will give this proposal your full consideration. Your loving uncle, Uncle Best Wingman. <laughs> Thank you, Wingman! Mm -hmm. Troubling Canva. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll need someone to keep an eye on Med. Mm -hmm. Just... For what? Mid got us to do all it did, and then just up. sailed off into the sunset. It uh, mm. seems that way. Mm. Well, nothing we can do about it now. But next mm. time you plan on visiting Sid, you might want to tie her to something before you suggest it. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, don't be so hard on her. I bet what? Admit, the dirty work was kind of fun. Why, why am I tying up Sid? All that bollocks. Just like when we built this place. Mm. <laughs> You're right. Anyway, we all set to head to the old hideaway. Mm. I could do with getting to get any stuff left shopping. that we have there. <laughs> Wouldn't do to keep Lord Rosfield of the Seven High Houses waiting now, would it? Not after he asked for me personally. Mm. That will be leaving with me. Will you mind the place while we're gone? I wonder why we had to Go take Gab. Me. He's kind of weird. Sure Hello, Valentine's Eve. All right. Mm. Oh, by the way, Jill will be joining us too. She's got some things mm. to take care of, but she'll meet us there. Nice. I hope she's telling the truth at least. Mm. All right, Jill is like the one character that I don't think will ever betray me. <laughs> I think I have seen a spoiler image though, and I think she will definitely something else me. Oh my God. <laughs> That I, I I am still hoping that was fake, but I'm not so sure. <laughs> we'll, we'll find out at some point. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> this is certainly a more a more mature rated game either way. Gav is such a bro though. He's a fun character. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that he got more airtime. Mm -hmm. Me just coming with a flower. Sid, I remember what you told me. But if no one is listening to what you have to say, you may as well not say it. Not true, because you never know who might listen. This may take time. But I will say this, old friend. Hugo Kuka is gone. <laughs> His shadow looms over us no longer. Yeah, I really like the strings in this BGM it's a too. Pity the Phoenix can't be in two places at once. Mm -hmm. If he'd have been with us, maybe he could have done something for the lost. Not even the Phoenix can bring people back from the dead. Mm. Life has a beginning and an end. Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't know why so my eyes keep trying to break. The chance. Mm. Not as slaves to the crystals. Hello, Thaddeus Sanders. But as free men. Mm. May we join you? Um. Even her? 
Not a surprise. Lady Karen. What a pleasant surprise. I thought I'd Karen's a nice and character. see how you were all doing before heading off to restock my supplies. Mm. I remember liking her a lot. She's a very unique character. You don't see that type very often. She also brought a flower. It's just so symbolic to see the petals just fly away. It wasn't the most scenic in the wind of all then, things, but it was never as bad as this. Mm. I know. The blight marches on. Mm. And soon. She does have really strong Matoya vibes, yeah? Mm. I like so that type of character a lot. Unchanged. We cannot stop until every mother crystal is gone and their thirst mm. for ether with them. The only one that remains in storm is Drake's tail in the crystalline dominion. All right. Next target. We're going to Twinside. So I did leave off at a really good spot. It's literally telling it's us everything we're doing. We left off at a part where we weren't doing anything. Like Amazing. Tightly guarded. <laughs> huh. place. So now it's giving us a new objective. Perfect timing to jump back in. You. But we do mm -hmm. well to scout it out before you go charging in. Mm -hmm. We would indeed. If you're off to the Dominion, Must loves you older surly ladies. Hag supremacy. With you. Hag supremacy. <laughs> Good. Oh, I am sorry. Have you forgotten? <laughs> I love her. <laughs> He's like, I'm sorry. Have you forgotten? Everyone thinks you're a criminal. As the attendants of a traveling trader, <laughs> mm. assuming you've no better ideas. Especially where he has a brand tattoo. Like you he, wanted to buy yourself he some needs tools, to <laughs> pretend well, to be that or your nothing. Chance. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you let me go with them. It's <laughs> <His> voice acting. <laughs> Stop that! You break me bones, you great galoot. He's <laughs> <is> so goofy. <laughs> <laughs> There's a caravan that runs back and forth. I don't remember him at all, but I love him so much right now. <laughs> it's managed by the merchants. Oh, the Just fight. show them Goose's traders pass, and you'll be on your way. <laughs> It'll be a damn <laughs> for them putting it the length of the crystal road. That's for sure. Thank you, Karen. Best character in the game. Glad to have you with us, Goose. Oh, okay then. Now get me things and I'll meet you there. See you down in Bucklad. He just grabs her hand and runs. <laughs> He's gonna break her hand. Jill, you're with me. Understood. And mm -hmm. Gav. Already on my way, Captain. Nice. Be careful. Aren't I always? He is just a giant dork. I love him. They were alone for like one second, and there was already tension on the screen. <laughs> oh Did no! You that, Sid? <laughs> Your protege is making a proper little outlaw of himself. Aww. <laughs> what a cute, terrible thing to say. <laughs> Yeah, he definitely like, doesn't know his own strength. He's like the goofy sidekick by me. <laughs> hmm. All right. Is this a really important side quest where it's a plus sign? I can't remember if the plus signs are really important ones or not. Cause if not, if it's not like key, I think we should keep going for the sake of time. But where I see the plus, I'm not sure if that's one I should do. I remember there was one particular icon that was really important to not skip. I just can't remember if that was it. The plus signs give you an upgrade. Thank you, Kellen. Is it is it worth it? Do you guys think, or should I just keep traveling forwards for the sake of time? <laughs> I'm not sure if I should keep going or not. Because mm. I'm assuming with how everywhere else is blocked off, once I go there, I'm not going to be able to come back. Okay, so expand my inventory. It might be worth it. Mm, we can at least accept it. We don't have to finish it. Um, if it's pain. <laughs> Where is it now? Hold on. Uh, 
Five chambers. I gotta go to my bedroom. Me forgetting how this entire map works. <laughs> I am just like, where am I? Where the fuck am I? Okay, all the way down. The map is so much smaller than it looks. Mm. I did put it on easy for the sake of time, I think, yeah. I still struggled a little bit. It's embarrassing. <laughs> uh. Oh, there's multiple plus signs right here. One of them is over here. Mm. Hi, Jackie, I'm at 09 still. Uh -huh. Excited to play this after the collab. Yeah, I've been wanting an excuse to go back to it for a long time. Okay. Chance for help dragging Blackthorn out of the dumps the other day. The thing is, I reckon he's gone and thrown himself back in, judging by the droop of his jaws lately. So I'm thinking maybe it weren't just the leather that was on his mind. Maybe there's other demons jabbing their pitchforks into his privates. <laughs> what a line. I know you're a busy bloke, but next time you find yourself free, maybe we could go and ask the old bastard what's got him so hot and bothered, assuming it isn't just the forge. Okay. Good to get whatever the bonus is. Mm. I should speak to Blackthorn just in case. Those are both potion-related ones? That's not bad to have to make sure I don't fucking die. Uh, potion ones are probably good to do as soon as I can every time. Hmm. I think I have to go down to get over there. Yeah! The one on the map? Oh, well, I can just do this one quickly, too. Not really, no. Mm. This won't take long. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to ask how you're getting on. Mm. August was worried about you. And you might still be doubting your craft. That's the you worst when people come up to you and they're ass. like, I just want to see if you're doing okay. If you're not so doing okay, you just want to tell like them to fuck off. <laughs> but some, sometimes it's nice to have people care, too. I don't tend to like to talk about my friends, <laughs> Still, you've got a keen eye out. Sometimes I do, but sometimes I don't. It's just, well, Karen showed me something. Mm. Oh. Something I've never seen before. Oh. And that was? A sword. An odd looking thing with a single edge blade. Like a Japanese style? It itself wasn't anything to write home about, but fuck me. The edge on it. You could slice What kind of edge does this sword have? And he'd be halfway home before he even realized he'd been cut. Damn. So that's what's troubling you. Nah, no, no, no. I want the sword. Exactly. Can I have the sword More if I beat this? <laughs> Can't stop thinking. How do you get an edge of that sharp? It's mm -hmm. driving me mad. And if you knew how to do it, we could arm the curse breakers with even better blades. Mm -hmm. That's about the size of it, yeah. I'll see what I can find out. I want to get one of those swords. Sharper swords are always welcome. <laughs> but we can't have our master blacksmith being distracted. Mm hmm. Sure, a soft touch, you know that. Oh my god, that's so loud. It. Scared the crap out You're of me. <laughs> I don't know how to turn it down, unfortunately. Let's see what Karen knows about this sword. All right, Karen. Let's get us this giant, massive, pointy sword thing that I can slice people in half with. <laughs> mm, there are a lot of cool swords. Yeah, I like the weapons in Final Fantasy a lot. A lot of unique, fun designs. I want to know about the sword you show mm -hmm. Blackthorn. Single edged. Extremely mm -hmm. sharp. Running around after him again, are you? Mm -hmm. I suppose I am, yes. But I need to help him find out how to work an edge like that. Mm. It's driving him to distraction. Little wonder, I suppose. There's not many like that make it as far as the twins, and those that do go straight into private. Co I'll fix it so that you can hear the next one. <laughs> no. I never steal. Never. Hmm. Hmm. Ah! What happened to my audio? I'm sorry, I didn't catch any of this quest. That sound scared the shit out of me. Hold on. Oh, I have desktop on monitor. The 
that's why. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Is this better? Is this better? Is this better? Is this better? Does it sound normal now? Does it sound normal now? It at least sounds normal to me. <laughs> oh my god. The game did go mute. Yes, I was trying to bring it back by resetting everything so you can hear the redeems. But I accidentally created a feedback loop and it, it made the audio go crazy. <laughs> okay, so that was so scary. It sounded haunted. Oh my god. Holy. So in dollar mail, so I'm assuming that means I have to leave. Mm -mm. That absolutely scared the shit out of me. <laughs> um, let me know if you guys need me to change anything about the audio. Yeah. I changed quite a bit, so I need to make sure that it sounds okay. You thought you knew something was off since you said something about us being able to hear the next one? Um, I think I knew it was off for a second, but I didn't realize um, that there was a feedback loop of audio. <laughs> ah, essentially, I had everything monitoring, but I also had the desktop audio monitoring. So it was monitoring and then sending the audio back at itself. It's basically like the equivalent of a photo in a photo in a photo in a photo, but with audio. That's what you guys get to experience briefly when I fucked up. <laughs> oh, I can't go there right now anyway. Well, I might as well get those quests later then. Let's just keep going. <laughs> Everything is black! Mm -mm. Hmm. I'm sure I'll make you. Let's go back to the main story. <laughs> When I chew my angry eyes, keep trying to break through my skull. Ah, oh, Torgle. Hmm. Yeah, you would have only heard it mute and then normal. Mm mm. Mm hmm. Hmm. How are you feeling? Better. Thanks to Talia. I can show you briefly what it sounded like if you're curious. I know how to turn it on for you guys. <laughs> You want to hear the really haunted audio briefly? Uh, only briefly. It's going to be really loud. Warning. Why isn't it working this way? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, okay, I guess it's not working. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it or not. It sounds perfectly normal now. I hate this. <laughs> It sounded so cursed for me. You guys had it sound perfectly normal. Uh huh. Hi. I love riding the turquoise in this so much. Oh, yeah, saved us. Yeah, it decided to spare you. It decided that it would have been like you know a little too cruel for me to make you guys listen to that. This used to be a trade route. Mm. Merchants crossing the scars. Till the Republic laid a new road wide enough to let wagons oh, pass. Oh, this is beautiful. No official traffic moved there. Getting to see the oasis Leaving from up here. Living outside the north. That looks almost like a dome. That got like squashed. <laughs> like the one in Free Run. Mm. Oh wait, the place I need to go is here. But I can't access it from here. I have to enter from another spot. Mm -mm. I can't, I don't think I can just... <laughs> it would have been nice, but no. I love the little chimkin booty. Look at the little chimkin booty while he walks. <laughs> Chocobos are thick. I want to play the game with the crazy choke <laughs> crazy chocobo song so bad. <laughs> Hold on. Hold 
Nah, I really need to get a new fan that's not on my face. I keep having like really, really dry throat to the point I can't breathe. Oh shit, I forgot there's QT. <laughs> and I just had one that got me quite bad. How do I, what is the button to switch which um, person I'm using? Do you guys remember um, what button it is to switch um, which, which, which dude, which, which, which icon dude? <laughs> How do I switch to another icon? L2? <sighs> okay, thank you. I cannot remember. Oh, wait. Are the voice lines sounding echoey? Did I leave the echo on when I put it on for you guys? No. Oh, wait. I think I have an idea of what might be happening. No, it should be working. Unless I added reverb. Hold on. Um, Let me check. Oh, shit. <laughs> There's been reverb on the game the whole time. I'm so out of it, man. Let's go. It's not an audio effect in the game. I had reverb on the game. <laughs> ah, at least it sounded think. kind of natural. Lucky to make it out alive? Who needs side quests? Fuck that. Normally I would love to, but you want to finish this game on stream ever, essentially? <laughs> ah. Alright. My favorite. The Phoenix. Da -da -da -da! Yeah! I love being able to cycle through everything and just absolutely fucking shit up. That'd be cool if you could equip more of them though. I don't think there's a lot that you can actually equip. I think I did have easy mode on um, for the dodges just because as much as it was like possible to play without that, I didn't think it was worth the, ch um, the challenge. I still have to press it in time. It's just basically a way that makes it um, a little less likely that I'm gonna be wasting my fucking time. <laughs> if that makes sense. Uh, if you're a little bit clumsy and you wanna be able to finish it on stream, it makes a big difference. I don't think I'll, I won't have the cheat when I play um, Stellar Blade, because I don't think it has anything like that. So you can still enjoy me doing some fights without it. <laughs> Just not in this game. I want to finish it, okay? I can still dodge without it. It, it just basically gives me some extra safety. <laughs> I can still press it on my own. That's just for when I miss it. Mm -mm. Nice. We've done the Republic a service. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. You're already in hard mode with stream brain? Yeah. I think a lot of people don't understand like how much your brain has to actually work like overdrive when you're streaming in addition to playing. Any of you have tried streaming before, I'm sure can vouch. Unless you're just streaming the game and you're not communicating with anyone. But even then, there's like pressure of being live, so it's not quite enough. It's not quite the same as like not streaming. Mm. It's always a bit more challenging. But at the same time, sometimes streaming stuff can be quite nice because then you get to share the experience with other people. I so even if it's a little more challenging, it, it can be nice. Bridge building. You've tried to play games while talking and reading and ended up either playing the game talking or reading. Yeah, it's really hard to multitask while gaming. Mm -mm. Hello, Raxon. Hmm. Mm, it's crazy. It's like an arena that has a big hole in the ground. Looks like something really bad happened or is going to happen here. Mm. Jill just staring at me going in a circle because I needed to see if there was any secrets. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Jill. I'm sorry I'm like this. Okay, um... 
I thought this was a graveyard. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> I was like, wow, I like these statues. All of the statues proceed to come to life and fucking kill me. <laughs> How do I lock on with this game again? Oh, this? Okay. Let's press this one. Okay. I might want to bring Titan back. I kind of miss punching with like the giant <laughs> I like the defense node. It reminds me of Azkis Hmm. All right, we did it. We killed everything. I'm sure they appreciate the fact that I'm coming in and destroying everything, definitely. Hmm. I don't remember, does this game auto save or do I save? Just so I don't fuck up, or, or is it like different depending on your settings? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, give me a sec. Slight emergency. <laughs> oh no! I think my nose is running and I don't have any tissues. Uh, I'll just have to suffer. Blech. I don't want to get up right now, so I'll just suffer. Blech. You can do both? Okay. Then I'll have to make sure I manually save when I stop, just in case. I prefer not to use autosave, so I probably turned it off, if you can turn it off. Mm-mm. Beautiful waterfalls. I've always wanted to see a waterfall like that in real life. So this is a Megas. Mm. The land of the gods. It reminds me of like the it's names more and stuff in Fortnite. Than I imagined. Mm -hmm. I remember being captivated by the story as a child. Long, long ago, man was overcome by avarice mm. and challenged the gods mm. in a bid to win their power. The final battle took place here, at these falls. Waiting for PC, so that's so fair. Knows. As part of why I'm glad I get to stream this for you guys. You people who don't have a PS5, so you can still see the journey. Perhaps we'll learn if there's any truth to the mm. tale. The Same with Stellar Blade. Victorious. I want to share it for people who aren't able to play it themselves. Man for his defiance. By visiting mm. upon him two curses. Mm. Dominance in Paris. Mm. To tell the truth, I always thought it strange that the dominance and their icons were deemed a curse. Mm. Back home, the dominant inherited the throne. They were admired and exalted, mm. not spurned. Whenever I got to that part of the story, I always assumed there must be something I'd misunderstood. Mm. You had a lot of storybooks, didn't you? Mm -hmm. In your room, I mean. When we were young. The old legends were always my favorites. Mm. Epic battles between gods and men. And now he's Father dragged into that shit. I read as much as I could. Mm. He thought it good for my education. It's good that he did that. You really were a boy like any other, weren't you? Mm. That line hurts. Just look at this. Just mourning the time when he had a normal life. It's enough to make you believe the legends so are true. I know. Mm. We're not far from Boklad. Mm. The road will be busier up ahead. And we'll have to keep our wits about us. <laughs> There's so much tension when they interact alone. It's <laughs> I feel like Anyone can see this tension. You don't even have to be a weird shipper like me. Anyone can see this tension. <laughs> it's like it's like the t when you're in, when you're like a third wheel with two friends or something, and you just know, and you're just like, oh my god, I can't even be here. <laughs> ah, even if they deny it, and they're just like, no, 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 you join. So you just know. You're like, oh my god, I can't bear this. <gasps> that scared me. The storm sound was so realistic. I thought it was outside my window. <laughs> oh my goodness. I see the reports are true, Father. 
Yeah, he's just a normal guy now. <gasps> I forgot he's pretty. I forgot about him. How's him and his boyfriend doing? Did one of them die yet? They're probably both gonna Emperor die. <laughs> Shall we build hmm. the, Holy of the fucking child? Wow. That was a slight against him, wasn't it? How is mm. he to rule an empire? Mm. He is but a boy. This guy I should rule because he's actually not an ass. Age. Father, please. Or for as long as I am able. Damn. The empire we seek to build needs young blood to rule. Are you saying he's and not young? He's young still young. <laughs> he's young without being a fucking child. Also, the child is a psychopath. There is other news. <laughs> I don't know. I think Dion might be a better ruler. I'm just saying. Drake's fang destroyed. Now they're coming for us. <laughs> the pillars of the Republic mm. have fallen. Mm -hmm. Ere long, the Imperial banner shall fly over every city in storm. And then, Valisthea, all shall bow before their emperor. Father, these are the mm. words of a tyrant. They are the words So he's of taking God. over the places that got their leaders taken away. The emperor he thinks he's a god? Sir. God complex, final boss Great confirmed. <laughs> made flesh. Damn. Dion's like, you're insane. He's gonna cut down his son. Oh my god, he's gonna cut down his son. Huh. I'm refraining from saying so many you. things right now. <laughs> ready your forces. Damn. It is time to show the world the true power of Sunbreak. I'm like extremely torn between fuck that dad, I want to kill him. And that was very slightly hot. I'm kind of jealous of Dion. <laughs> I find you much changed. That's bad, that's bad. Okay. Okay. Um, you're right, you're right, you're right. I can remember if this one was new or not, so just in case. A once independent state straddling the continent of Storm and Ash is capital. Twin site is built on the tiny Isles of Ark from which his mother crystal, Drake's tail, rises. After Drake's head was destroyed in 873, the Holy Empire of Sandbreak declared Twin Side its new capital in defiance of the long standing non aggression treaty. While controversial, the move carried out by Prince Dion as Knight's Dragoon, proceedingly most unopposed, oh, proceeded mostly unopposed, largely due to the dominant's lack of a dominant of its own, or Dominion's lack of a dominant of its own with which to intimidate the interlopers. Fair. Oh, more and lore about the creepy child. Yay! <laughs> I feel like it could also be fun to cosplay the creepy child. <laughs> Second son of Emperor Sylvester of the Holy Empire of Sunbreak and third of Empress Annabella. After Annabella's machination saw the Dalmic siege of the Crystalline Dominion broken and the victory ascribed to the young prince, Sylvester was convinced to surrender his throne to their beloved son. So she convinced him. Anointing him Emperor all the few <laughs> First of his name, the fucking child is the Emperor. This cannot possibly be a disaster. Oh my god. <laughs> mm -hmm. A holy empire of Sanbury. A nation occupying the northeastern reaches of the continent of Storm, with Twinside as its capital. Apparently not content of the upheaval caused by removing this court to the recently seized crystalline dominion, Sylvester Lesage chose to compound the uncertainty by installing his second son, Olivier, as the Holy Empire while still a child. Oh, we learned more about the Gregorian Church this time. Mm. Mm. They did a really good job of making this brat terrifying. Just the way he like, mutilated the flower. He looked like he wanted to pick all of the petals off one by one. <laughs> The state religion of the Holy Empire of Sunbreak, his followers worship the goddess Grigor as the one true deity. At the church's head stands the Holy Emperor, voted into office by his fellow cardinals, and supposedly their equal, though this is widely recognized to be convenient fiction. <laughs> oh boy, I see where this is going. The followers of Grigor worship dragons as sacred servants to their goddess. Well, this is very opposite to Ishgard. <laughs> And since the founding days of the Empire, have both doted and depended upon them. So this is where the heretics live. Got it. Sylvester Lazage, Emperor Emeritus of the Holy Empire of Sandbreak, in the wake of the events of Phoenix Gate, he married Annabella Rosfield and sired a second son, Olivier, with her. 
Annabella and Olivier's influence in the affairs of the imperial court was to only grow over the years, until Sylvester was finally convinced to surrender his throne to the young prince, announcing him to be the latest in the long line of earthly incarnations of Gregor. So he's actually saying, my son is God, by the way. <gasps> That's so fucked up! <laughs> Just like my child is God, he must be the this emperor at late. six years old or whatever age late. he is. Hello, Robin TV. Or are these the ambitions of another? Mm. Yeah, it does feel very much like the opposite that? of XIV. I like it. What nonsense is this? I speak my mind, and my mind oh, only. Shit. <laughs> the kid just lazing Though on the I chair. Do owe Annabella, thanks for reminding me of certain truths regarding the nature of nation, of rulers, and of the divine. <laughs> like, I'm glad my wife told me that the son we had is a Trust god. The words of this traitress. Yeah, really, though, after her she history? She betrayed her country. She yeah, stole really. Her yeah, really. It's like, Dad, I'm sorry, but have you considered that your wife might be a problem? <laughs> Mm. I trust you will continue to serve your emperor in the wars to come. The fucking child. Tanker! Silence! Insolent wretch! <clears throat> you will bend the knee. All else is heresy. He's like, well then call me a heretic. <laughs> ah. This audience is over. She is hot, though, Come, to be fair. Your radiance. Mm -hmm. The Rowena Syndicate awaits. I might also search. commit crimes if I could marry oh, her. Not another meeting with silly old men. They're so boring. <laughs> this is the child you've chosen to be the emperor. I'm hungry, father. <laughs> Can't we have lunch instead? <laughs> Great choice. Good job. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hello, little jingle. Clearly she won't kill me. She's too sexy and beautiful. Oh God, I wish she would kill me. I have suffered worse. Oh my God, she's taunting him. Count your blessings, Dion. For a baseborn child to be chosen by Bahamut is miracle enough. You have risen high on his wings, but you shall rise no higher. Lest your impure blood stain. She's trying to put him in his place. What do you know of my blood? She knows something. Damn. Damn. Eh, eh. Need to hug the coast. Mm -hmm. There it is. I feel like this is setting up for some absolutely wild shit coming soon. This way, right? Yeah. Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> uh, this way. Okay. Let me grab this. I feel like rather than chocobo. When exploring a new area, probably running is ideal. I'm sorry, I feel like there's something along the water. I just have that feeling in that I need to go that way. Even if it's just to see the water, I want to check it out. Already. We can be sure Sylvester will do everything in his power to hold on to Twinside. His troops are well trained and it's close to seeing some travelers by the water with some other chocobos. It's not as if we can wait for the siege to end. Mm. Oh, there is something. I wonder if this is using a strategy similar to Relink and some of the stuff in the distance is actually actually like stretched out 2D. Oh my god, the sun reflection on the water is so nice. The rest of the water looks kind of bad, except for where it falls, but. Mm. I, re I really like the graphics in this game and I think it's a shame it gets so much hate. So many people saying that it's like too western or whatever. I can kind of get that because it feels different than some of the others. But I don't mind it feels any more or less than the remake of 7 does. Uh, maybe slightly grittier, slightly more edgy. 
But to me, it still has a very distinct Japanese game feel to it. Does Niagara Falls look like that? I don't know. Can anyone tell me? I've never been there. I've only oh, seen like geez. tourism things for it. I was debating going there to see the eclipse, actually. Um, but it was supposed to be cloudy, blessing. so I decided to go somewhere else. <laughs> mm. You don't think anyone complained about the graphics? No, I've seen a lot of complaints about the graphics. I've seen a lot of people saying Final Fan... Like, it's, it could just be people I know. I saw a lot of complaints saying things like, Final Fantasy always has, like, hot characters. And these ones are ugly. They look like they came out of, like, a Blizzard game or whatever. And I'm just like, no, they don't actually. But okay. <laughs> so they don't look anything like it uh, to me. They very much have the distinct Final Fantasy identity. Mm -mm -mm. You've read those too? Yeah, see, I'm not the only one. Those claims definitely exist, and there's a lot of them. Mm hmm. Hello, NASA! Mm -mm. It could be that so many people are used to know more's art style. I mean, maybe. I still find the art style feels very similar to 14. Maybe the one time there's a bit of an exception um, in times of it not feeling Final Fantasy is some of the NPCs, maybe. But the main characters always feel very Final Fantasy to me. They seem to fit everything that I've seen about it. Mind you, I've only played a few of them. But they feel like they fit it really well to me. Also, see Sarah Lil. How can anyone today. say that? They've never seen Clive or Benedict. Exactly! Like, I'm sorry, did you see this man? Look at all these belts. Look at all these fucking belts and straps. Does this not scream Final Fantasy? Look at the belts! I'm sorry, it's right there. The evidence is right in front of your face, Your Honor. <laughs> And then Benedicta with her like sexy outfit. Look at Jill! Jill looks like she's from Final Fantasy. She could have been from any number of the Final Fantasy games. Fuck anyone who says otherwise. Hello, Torgal. I see that you want pets. <laughs> it's been a little too long since I gave it the best boy some pets. <laughs> Hello, Kenny Nini. I think the lighting is better in this than Rebirth. I actually agree! I think the lighting in this is better! In Rebirth, there's some issues with face lighting sometimes. I don't mind it, but I have seen what you mean. I really wanted to stream Rebirth, but I think I had to accept that Rebirth is just too long. And it's not something I would be able to stream. Also, what the fuck? It's like a well for magic and ether. Um, maybe someday I can try to speedrun Rebirth or something. But I think right now I want to focus on doing more relink if and when I can. I would like to finish this one if and when I can. And soon, Stellar Blade. <laughs> I know that Stellar Blade is something you guys would like to watch. I know how many people were looking forward to it. Also, I'm just really excited that it's trying something new. I'm really sad that it's getting so many like people mad at it without actually doing any research into it. Because it's amazing! It's amazing and so creative! I'm cheap! You're cheap? Oh, what about what? what? You need to beat the OG7 now! <laughs> I actually, actually, someone suggested to me that I do the first part of the OG7 instead of the first um, remake. <laughs> and then jump into Rebirth. So maybe we can do like one or two streams absolutely speed running the first part of the OG. <laughs> um, side content is really a must. Yeah, I feel like I would never leave it. We'd have to have, like, one day a week where all I do is just chill and, like, do for that for, like, for indefinitely. <laughs> and that's just kind of rough. Nobody wants to watch me play Final that. Fantasy VII every week. <laughs> mm. 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 Why do we get a waste shot? Not that I'm complaining, but why? <laughs> I thought he was going to put a hand around it, and he didn't. I'm slightly Empires disappointed. I mean, wait, wait, I'm supposed to not ship them! <laughs> Shit! In effect. Only those whose business in Twinside has been officially approved by the Republican Oh, Army I'm toast. To I'm toast. All who seek entry are a formal line and ready their documents for inspection. Mm. It looks like we aren't the only ones who are eager to leave. Mm. They're checking everyone. They're really looking for us. Not for the likes of you. We won't get through without that pass. Mm. Let's go and find good, shall we? Mm. 
Damn. He must be around here somewhere. Mm hmm. All right, we gotta find Bonk. You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. Must be somewhere around here. Got him. Good. So what are you doing here? Oh, good. There you oh wait, are. we're looking for him. Okay, I mixed I, up the names. I, I'm so <laughs> sorry. Don't tell oh, him, yeah. will you? Slow down, good. Just tell us what happened. Mm. He's panicking. Something it's bad must have happened. Pass. It's gone. Someone He's must have stolen it. it. We won't even be able to get through the flipping checkpoint. He's crying. Oh, my heart. Oh, Oh, so Kenny, thank go. you so much for joining Mumbers Head. Yeah. You don't think that they might have nicked it, do you? Oh, that's me. You wouldn't surprise me. A busy market like this is prime territory for pickpockets. So, to get the pass back, we need to find this child. Where would we even start? I'm so weak to fictional men that cry. <laughs> I know where. I've got who might be able to help us. No one knows I'm fictional about women that make me cry. Where do we find her? There's so many fictional hotties, She's honestly, in general. Caravans up that way. Mm -hmm. Sounds got a red chocobo on it. No time like the present. You two go on ahead. I'm gonna check the rest of my stuff, make sure mm -hmm. no one else is missing. All right. <laughs> we'll meet you there. All right, we gotta get through. Let's keep an eye out for this red chocobo then. Mm -hmm. Red Chocobo, it's not the one that like kills me if I fight it. it. Sounds really bad. We should just let it loose in the town. Surely if it's like busy killing everyone, then we can sneak out, right? <laughs> uh, five days left for Rising Tide DLC. Yeah! I've been debating getting it, but I'm not sure if I will or not, to be honest. I'm not sure um, if I would actually use any of the new content. Scooping up all the best customers. So it might actually not be worth my time. But at the same time, um, it would be kind of nice to be able to check out what's new for the DLC. Looking to hire a coach? Oh my God, she's pretty. It's Ten million for a two-birder to the Crystalline Dominion. Take it or leave it. Oh, mm -hmm. we're not here for that. Then I bid you good day. I haven't played Echoes of Fallen DLC. Yet. I'm still on the main story. I haven't really done any DLC. He's been made. I actually didn't know there was two sets of DLC. As I fucking <laughs> breathe. Mm. Goots, what are you doing back in Bokka? I like her outfit. The fabric looks so realistic. Hmm. <laughs> I gather Lady Karen didn't send you. Oh, she did, actually. <laughs> Kinda. So what trouble hmm. have you got yourself into this time? Hey. Uh, it's me trader's pass. It got stolen. Hmm. By little Ben. I'm still off at me too. I want it. You're the size of a marble. <laughs> Honestly. Ugh. Listen, listen. That you know the he needs well. protecting. Just like because he's big doesn't mean he doesn't need protecting. You guys shouldn't have assumed he was able to protect himself. You should have given him Jill as a guard. Then we can be on our way. Mm hmm. Listen, well, he. I see. So mm. neither of you has a trader's pass either. Nope. <laughs> Not that anyone would take you for traders. But I suppose that's why you came to me, correct? <laughs> Six streams away from getting now, the DLC. <laughs> I, <can't take> the <laughs> I don't even know if I can do that many. I don't know if I can keep I doing it when Stellar Blade is out. I don't know if I'll have time. Let me explain. Unless Stellar Blade is really short, we may be able to marathon it in a week or two. I don't know how long Stellar Blade is going to be yet. Ever since the Fist marched on the Dominion, mm. the Republic has been clamping down on any commerce that might aid the Empire more than mm. it does us. Which means traders' passes have gone from being merely a way of easing one's progress to being essential if one wishes to cross the border at all. Mm -hmm. And with demand outstripping supply, they've become a precious commodity. 
So the perfect thing to steal. By less than legitimate means. Mm. So the children are stealing passes to sell on the I just realized there's probably new lore here. Buckland, a busy market town situated in the northeastern coast of Dalmikia, where the Strait of Alta drains slowly into the gaping crater of Dzmikis Falls. Also known as the Thousand Tables, its streets throng with merchants from across the realm. It sounds like such a vibrant area. I'd love to visit it. Hmm. Like IRL if it existed. <laughs> Um, each loudly hawking their wares to keen-eyed customers intent on finding a bargain. The gate at the rear of the town leads directly onto the Crystal Road, and therefore out of the Republic. As such, it is heavily guarded against unauthorized exit or entry. Probably longer than six, ten, just until I get to the DLC, not even before I finish? Damn! How am I supposed to finish this when I have so much else to do? <laughs> Oh, see. Oh, man. I really love this game, but it's so hard to justify when my schedule needs other things prioritized. Ah, <laughs> uh, we'll see. Mm -hmm. Owner of the Crimson Caravans, a highly esteemed porterage firm in Falkland, Eloise has a knack for business and a head for figures, which she used to build her business from the ground up into the success it is today. I'm about to hit the halfway point! I thought I was already halfway! <laughs> So much pain. <laughs> oh my god. God damn it. Mm -hmm. Goot. Apprentice to Karen, an ally of the highway. He's the brave, the proud bearer of a traitor's past and allows him to travel freely across the realm, something that is indispensable in completing errands that Karen sets him. His latest task to journey to the Crystalline Dominion in the company of Clive and Jill, using the past to cross the heavily guarded and fortified border so they can fuck shit up and destroy the crystals. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And Karen, one of Sid's most trusted allies, after Sid's hideaway was laid waste by Hugo Koopka and his minions, she and her hardworking yet long-suffering apprentice, Dee <laughs> suffering, followed Clive to the new hideaway in Benimir, where they serve him in the same capacity they served his predecessor, sourcing whatever supplies her fellow residents are in need of. Mm -mm. Don't think it'll be ten since they don't do the side quests. True. True. <laughs> I, I don't know if or when we'll be able to finish it anyway. We'll just yes, go at my pace when I can and, and yes. see where we get. Passes are inscribed mm. with the names of their owners. And yet none of the victims' names have appeared on the register mm. of those passing through the checkpoint. Which means? That someone is doctoring mm. the stolen passes. Mm. The same someone who is encouraging the children to steal them. Thanks. And the same someone who has Goots's pass, no doubt. Whoever they are, they're ruining the livelihoods of honest merchants, mm -hmm. which is why we've decided to take a stand. Will you stand with us? You want to get your pass back, mm -hmm. and we want to ensure that no more are stolen. Mm -hmm. Catch whoever's behind it all, and two birds shall be slain with a single stone. So in other words, we gotta fight people again. Is there <laughs> any other way? Of mm -hmm. getting to the Crystalline Dominion goods. Nope. They won't let you in if you're not with the caravan. It's that, uh, I don't know. Try swimming. <laughs> I mean, I can try. We'll definitely spot you if you try and do that. Mm -hmm. like, uh, we don't want to get spotted, right? <laughs> so either we find the He needs to be protected pass, so hard. This poor man. <laughs> I love him so much. <gasps> I just want to protect him. We'll help. Thank you kindly. If um, anyone hurts Goots, yeah. well, I will I punch them. Name. I will kill Enemy them so hard. Service. They wish they were dead Clive. again. <laughs> A pleasure doing business with you, Clive. Mm. I mean, just so grateful that this game gave Clive the booba window. The proprietor of the Thank you, Square Enix. <laughs> Where Every cutscene is so great. <laughs> I suggest that you speak with him first. Mm -hmm. I keep I getting kind of distracted by it, though. <laughs> Hello, Rune Dragon. He could crush anyone. Yeah, but he doesn't have the soul of a fighter. He's like basically a sad puppy that's already been kicked. He needs to be protected. He does not do the protecting. You protect Goots. <laughs> I volunteer. I volunteer to protect goods. Mm. 
out of mm. my sight, wretch. Hmm. Come on, come on. Jug of snake spit for the road. He's a mouse in the giant's oh, blood. Yeah! I love that trope so much. I love it. <laughs> That's one of my favorites. Looking for something in particular? Mm. Ah. I know where he's collared you too, eh? Then I expect you want mm. to know more. She told me you were leading the hunt for the pickpockets. What have you learned? I do find the NPCs for have one, very generic faces, but I mean they're NPCs, the so it kind of makes sense that they have more generic faces. Back, less chance of the mark giving chase if they're But it does almost feel like a different art style than the main characters them. to me. Those imps know every imp That's my only complaint about the end. Their, their eyes must have lit up when they saw Goots. Mm. The fishmonger round by the gate's been trying to track down the children involved. You should go and have a word with her. Thank you. Just thank you and then accidentally click out. <laughs> okay. Let's find the fishmonger. I'm eating fish right now. That feels so fitting. Main character yeah, syndrome is hard in Final Fantasy. It does. You, come with me. you can always we... tell by looking when. Ah, oh, give me some smoked salmon. Ah, sorry. Message from Eloise, is it? Mm. She's asked me to help her. To help you find the pickpockets. Mm. Is that so? Suppose I better tell you what I know then. For one, this isn't a family operation. All the traders say the children who stole mm. their passes were dirty, dressed in rags. Street urchins, by the sound of it. We get a lot around here. Orphans from the wars. Mm. A few, perhaps. You saw the refugees gathered by the entranceway. They're all looking for a new start in the Dominion and beyond. Some of them take it as an opportunity to rid themselves of unwanted baggage. A shame oh, of it. Damn. Whoever's behind this would have to have made themselves known to the children at some point. Mm. And so should we. You should start with the children around here, then. I doubt they're the ones involved, but mm. they might have heard something. It's worth a try. All right, then. Question There's such the a children. small quest. This is fucked up. Me. You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. Come and taste my peaches. They're sweet as nectar. <laughs> I heard that voice. I was like, that sounds like a child. And then it's just a grown woman. And then I, I'm like, man. And then I remember I also I sound like that. And I was like, oh. <laughs> uh, here we go. No? I thought I saw the red. Oh, it's over down here. With the random Do boy looking at shit. Mm -hmm. What do you want? What I want is to know who. <laughs> Clive sounded so put off by that response. I don't know. Nobody's asked me. Mm -hmm. He's like, I just do it. What's picking pockets? To get paid for it because no, of the way he said it i genuinely it. think he doesn't know he's like can i make money doing that <laughs> hmm. he doesn't even know what it is the child is innocent he's too confused <laughs> let me see you should come with me to the dominion life will be different there i think i got too far away Remember when half the people coming through here were traitors? Mm. Ah, Taste here we go. Peaches. Sweet as nectar. The Excuse peaches me. line again. <laughs> Almost reminds me of Sotheby. Can't stop you. <laughs> what a brat! I asked you to do anything out of the ordinary recently. <sighs> anything you grown-ups ever ask us to do is shut up and go away. So guess what I'm about to tell you to do? <gasps> Sorry. I'll leave you alone. Holy... The sassy lost child is the sassiest child I have ever seen. What? A brat! Find anything of this quality Holy in Twinside. I'm like never going to recover from that child. <laughs> Holy shit. Mm. 
let me see. Caravan stops Other? next to the Oh, there we go. Anxious girl. She must be up to no good if she's anxious. Just the way that she's freaking out here. They probably Excuse got her doing me. something she doesn't want to do. What do you want? I, I, I don't mm. have any money. It's all right. We're not going to hurt you. We just want to talk. Mm. What, what, what about? We've heard that some very bad people are making children like you steal from travelers. We need to know who's behind it so we can stop them. You know one thing I wish I the game would do differently, it, really. though? Um, but my friend, Honza, I do wish the mouse movements at times could be better. I feel like, like, the NPC right now is okay Sounds mouth movements, but Jill is, like, barely arc. moving her mouth. It could be because it's mapped to the Japanese lines, it's though. By the tents outside town. Thank you. It's just Jill's helpful. mouth is, like, barely opening. <laughs> and I prefer things to be a bit exaggerated and have more movement than to be more on the realistic side. Um, but that's very much my preference, so yeah. Mm-mm-mm. Uh -huh. Hold on. Let me find a good spot to stand where I won't get killed. And then I'm probably gonna take a washroom break real quick. That's that. And make sure I got more drinks. She must have been the refugee camp. Okay. Let's hope he's still nearby. We'll wait in the camp! We'll come back in a minute and look for her. Uh -huh. no, be stretch. I know. I know. I know. I know. Okay. Now I'm gonna take a washroom break. Um, I think my break screen has actually not been updated here in eight months, and I didn't think to update it, so <laughs> it's gonna be a little dated. Oh well, I'll be back in a bit. Fences, I can't go through it, but you watch a shrimp walk through it, and you're just like, fuck you, shrimp. I. <laughs> You guys, congratulations. I did Hangman as a trick just to get lots of VTuber noises. What the fuck? <laughs> Is this what always happens? You just have idiots just trying to sound out the words, hoping to make the brain connections? No, I've never done Hangman before. You're the first idiot I've tested it with, actually. Okay, buddy! <laughs> All right! You're welcome! Thank you! Shut up! <laughs> never bring anything from you again. <laughs> like this. Why would you ever use this when you can like swishy 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 cut through the air like fucking butter? What? Quickly. <laughs> Alright, let's toss it. <laughs> Woo! Where'd it go? Oh. <laughs> nice try. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> hold on! want to be used. Okay, come on. Are you kidding? <laughs> I, Damn, someone I'll else doing? <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> Not so easy, is it? Glorious Gob Strike! Aye, aye, Captain! I can hear you! Glorious Gob Strike! Oh!
trying to run through it. Fire sign! Well, <laughs> I don't want to play as Gunvolt. Yeah. This Please. isn't a boss. I don't want to play as Gunvolt. <laughs> I want to restart the level. Can I? How do I die? Why can't I die? Am I actually invincible? Can I? Can, please, I want to die. <laughs> how low do I have to go before I die? <laughs> can I just restart the level? And can I not just restart the level? How do I die? <laughs> I want to die. I want to die. I want to die. I get the hiccups. Ignore. 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 You didn't hear that. You didn't hear that. <laughs> Please don't do another one. <laughs> The guinea pig in the shark outfit. It's really fucking cute. <laughs> I love it. I, I think it's a guinea pig. It almost no, it's not a Diku. It's not a Diku. Dikus are very different. I love Dikus. Uh, I just haven't seen one in a long time, so part of me is like <laughs> <laughs> Ah you did not hear it. You didn't, you didn't, you're lying, 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 you're lying. <gasps> her new hairstyle what do you think i think she's cute i think she's cutie for cutie oh my goodness wait this just hair stream is more entertaining than i thought it would be <laughs> yeah it's a, it's a reverse bald stream we're we're only hair we're only hair oh man everyone looks better with my ponytail it just makes everyone really hot even the dragons holy moly everyone looks so good with my hair attached to their bodies damn we will make it Will our story be lost In the wind Will it live on To sing on again Also, Bongo, thank you as well for the five additional gifts Wow, you guys are really generous today. <laughs> All right, I'm trying to scroll up and um, let me see. Who the fuck is Pippa Feet? Tastes delicious. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Why? Why? Zyrazin, thank you so much for 13 months. With the blood stains on the carpet, ah! she came under the table. You could see she was unable. So she ran into the bedroom, she was stuck down, it was so doom. Annie, are you all busy? Busy, are you okay? Are you okay, busy? Busy, are you okay? So busy, are you okay? Are you okay, busy? Busy, are you okay? So busy, are you okay? Are you okay, busy? Busy, are you okay? So busy, are you okay? Are you okay, busy? Busy, are you okay? Will you tell us that you're okay? There's a sign in the window that it crashed again. The words are wrong, it's fine. He gave me the apartment. On the carpet, ah! then he ran into the bedroom and was struck down. It was hard to. Pretty, are you okay? So pretty, are you okay? Are you okay, pretty? Pretty, are you okay? So pretty, are you okay? Are you okay, pretty? Pretty, are you okay? So pretty, are you okay? Are you okay, pretty? You've been hit by, you've been hit by Final Fantasy XIV, the free trial. Quite knew what I was in for. <laughs> <laughs> You know what, though? To be honest, Pam, this is a normal. This is a norm. Uh. <laughs> this is a normal Tuesday night for me. Exactly. So, average pretty normal. Day. Pretty normal. It's average pay day for me. Sorry, just... <laughs> I just wanted to say, I definitely the girls in Nike has nothing on, on Akamana. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if my cough um, gets a bit weird. <laughs> it's getting particularly annoying today. Um, and where it was dry as well, I, I want to like 
I'm still stretching, I'm sorry. <laughs> I want to clear out the crap that's there, so I took some cough medicine. Um, but just, just to warn you guys, in case it happens, it's not the type of cough medicine that prevents you from coughing. <laughs> it's the type of cough medicine that gets the crap out, so, uh... <laughs> Depending how fast that works, I am very sorry. I don't know what what might happen on stream. <laughs> <I'm hungry. laughs> Listen, I'm doing what I must. <laughs> Hopefully, it won't be it won't be awful. Yeah, expectorant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't know if most people knew what that was. So. We found the evil kids. Wish we hadn't handed over the past, though. Could use one of those things to get out of this dump. Chance would be a fun thing. That the kid sounds so old. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I didn't do since coughing to clear it up. Hundred percent. Shit, we're in trouble now. Mm -hmm. What do we do? You two get caught if you want. I'm off. He sounds like he's like twenty. Where are you going? So that was Hunter, eh? Are you just went through puberty earlier than the other kids again? Right. Um. He does kind of look old. Maybe he's not a kid. Maybe he's just short. <laughs> That's a mood. God, I remember one time last year when I was at the airport. Where's that NPC line? Don't make me cry. One time last year when I was at the airport, um, security asked me where my parents were, and they tried putting these in a line that was for unaccompanied minors. Did you see a boy run past? It's so awful. He stole something from a friend of mine. And I had to explain, like, no! <laughs> and then when I was going into the Philippines with Akka, too, they thought I was, like... I can't remember... I can't remember the details. They thought I was either her younger sister or her niece. And they're like, oh, is that your chaperone? And I'm like, no! <laughs> uh, it was awkward. Why can't you acknowledge me as an adult, too? Why? Why am I not recognized for being so powerful and mature? Shit. No one, God. no one's willing to acknowledge me. <laughs> I'm not even that small. That's the thing. I'm small, but I'm not that small. Fine. I think, I think it's a combination of maybe that and my voice. You combine the two. Who are they? And it's kind of baby vibes. <laughs> Mm. With, with just one, usually people believe my age, I guess, but with both combined, no, not always. You know, if I didn't do it, they just pick on someone else, someone they could push around easier. So sad. You found him then, Jill. Where are the other two? No, Akka didn't seem old. Akka just seemed like. Like, like, regular, like, early adult age. They basically thought she was my older sister, right? Like, the person over 18 chaperoning me, but they thought we were very close in age. Mm -mm. I can't remember if it was aunt or older sister, but, like, they thought we were around the same age. Mm. But that I was a minor. <laughs> it was pretty humiliating. I was, I was very jealous that she was acknowledged. <laughs> I was very jealous. <laughs> Cowards. You will not force another child to do Who it. is this? Wait, we're not. <laughs> Don't hurt him. <laughs> You're making a mistake. New guy. We're on the same side. Like hell we are. I like this dramatic man. That this gross. body language, damn! Did you get it? I wonder if that was mocap, because it's really well done. <gasps> Goots is just what? cowering behind the rock and love him. <gasps> oh, he knows him. Goots, what are you doing with these people? He's like, no, no, you misunderstand. <gasps> You're the ones my sister mm -hmm. was talking about. Your sister. Something tells me he has a tragic backstory, and we're about to learn. Eloise didn't tell us she had a brother. Mm. And why would she? I'm just a back and a blade. Theodore, 
at your I friends. like his facial expressions. Theodore Sorry seems like a fun friend. character. Mm. Okay, let's learn a bit more about him. So, Eloise. Ah, so that was her. Okay, 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 okay. And then Theodore. Porter and guard for the Crimson Caravans. The poor... Porter runs from firm that he runs with his beloved sister Eloise. Okay, okay, okay. He is also really attractive. I'm just saying, look at his face. <laughs> his face is really well sculpted. That is a Theo, nice model. <laughs> you know the car, the Thank you, Final Fantasy. Their hunting ground. They prey on the desperate, mm. stealing from those with guild and bullying those without it into joining their flock. This is like Robin Hood, but evil. ...in hope of sparing the refugees any further hardship. Hmm. But it seems they've already stooped even lower than I'd feared. Yeah, Hundreds with children. Lad. Don't blame him for what they've made him do. Hmm. If he and his friends hadn't agreed to work for the stones, some other poor souls would have. Which is what he said, death, yeah. Most likely. Clive, was it? Damn. And my sister has asked you to help with an end to the pickpocketing. Oh, it's smart. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, we gotta work together. Nice. Okay. Level up! It's been so long since I leveled up. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, nice, nice, nice. Oh, I got a meteorite. Not that I ever craft anyway. <laughs> I probably should craft sometimes. Ever. Really. Oh. It's fine. So What's the plan? Mm. What else? We find the cast stones and we crush them. Mm -hmm. You get your traders passed back and I make Boglad a safe place again. Forever. I don't think it'd be that simple to make it All a safe right, place, then. but I mean at least a safer place. Mm -hmm. Honza, where are they camped? Don't worry. They'll never know you mm -hmm. told us. They're protected. They, to. they always come to town to collect the passes. Oh. Meet us outside the gate. I tried following them once, but they spotted me halfway down the trail. I so like how the kid up. actually tried to track we'll them down. That kid's badass. Which way were they going? I didn't expect him to be such Tied a good dude. Down the road towards Leighton's Cleft. Mm. To Leighton's Cleft, then. Mm. Blood Lady's from the stone. The this sounds like a rather intense quest. Blood from the stone. I don't feel like this is going to be a very low stakes quest. <laughs> uh, there's a lot happening for slower sections of the game. If this is a slow section, this game must get absolutely wild. <laughs> uh, I forgot how intense it was. But even the side quests feel kind of intense. Mm -mm. Can I run again? Not that. Ah, oh, there we go. Blech. Ah, found them. I really appreciate the amount of voice acting that went into this too. Everything's voiced. So good. That's the one who's been sticking his nose in our business. Yeah. Wow. I should have been tightened back at some point so I can just slam the big fist into everyone again. <laughs> Cause that was so satisfying before. I doubt these that was so fast. But at least we know we're on the right side. <laughs> I fucked them up so quickly, man. Mm. A seven nights on their best for yeah! I'm really sad that this game ended up getting so much criticism because it's such an amazing game. I think if it didn't come out the same year as Baldur's Gate, it would have had a really good chance of being game of the year. Like, easily. But, you know, Baldur's Gate was a little hard to compete with. I wonder if there were any other award ceremonies that did grant this one game of the year. I wouldn't be surprised if there were any. Damn! Torgal just fucking up this guy in the corner. <laughs> Fewer now. Nice. Still not the boss then. There's few were. And we still gotta get to the final. Ooh. 
me ignoring protecting the children because I see a shiny. <laughs> I just have to collect the shiny before we go back. Oh, so this is their main camp, it looks like. Hmm. Found their hideout. Not a bad hole today, eh? That's a pretty easy Aye. place to spot so a hideout. Maybe <laughs> it should be a bit really more dwells. discreet. Mm. Especially the little ones. That Hans has got nimble mm. fingers, all right. Damn. <laughs> It'll be a shame when they chop them off. <gasps> but till then, let's make the most of it. When they what now? The leaders of the cast stones, I take it. They don't deserve any mercy, Clive. No. I wasn't planning on showing them any. Good. We're ready when you are, Theodore. Yeah, Clive just not gonna hand like oh, tolerate shit like that. Ah, yeah. Boom! It's that guard from Clockland. Oh wait, that one is not ready. <laughs> now it's ready! Wow! Me just constantly running into that guy with my fire. Oh wait! How do I? Is it? Yes! I forgot how to do that! I was like, isn't there a way that I can like get super massive and powerful and like absolutely fuck everything up? I thought there was a way. Yeah! I love murder. When I'm murdering evil pieces of shit. Feels good, man. <laughs> I'm getting better at dodging on my own without having the thing pop up. I say as I fuck up. Bam! Yeah! <laughs> nice. Easy. Hmm. Every awards show ends up getting really corrupt. Whether it's things being um, won at, or bought as a winner, or bought as a nominee, or just really biased Gold judges, chains, or popularity passes. vote instead of quality. Uh, Sorry, I am I am brushing my hair. <laughs> Don't mind me. Uh huh. Not yet. Mm -mm. I recognize some of them. No doubt, Gootses is somewhere among them. Mm -hmm. Now I just need to sort through it all and return everything to the people mm. it was taken from. We mm. should go and give Eloise the good news. Can mm. we leave things here in your hands, Theodore? Of course. Mm. Oh, and, uh, you gotta save the kids. Be sure to tell her of the part I played, won't you? <laughs> we'll be glad to. Dude just wants the credit. Mm. He's like, oh, by the way, uh, my sister really hates me. Can you tell her that I did something useful and maybe she'll hate me slightly less? <laughs> I'm tracking sees all. Yeah, it's a slight pain. But also, I kind of feel like even though it's a bit annoying, maybe it adds to the quality of the stream. Just have so much movement, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. I think that was one of the things I really wanted 3D for it. I have like hand tracking and stuff. This kind of feels like a waste if I don't use it. Oh, wait, that's not the jump button. <laughs> I need to go through down here, don't I? Mm mm. Okay. I forgot where I had to walk through. I really like the music in this area and how it kind of blends into the background and just becomes Daddy, a vibe. I'm hungry. Not every time an OST should be hummable. That's that, that. Sometimes having it just blend in and make a vibe is equally as important. And I think right now this is one of those moments where just having a blend in is nice. Hmm. Ah, Clive. 
How goes the hunt? Oh, we wrecked it. My that went. Isn't getting in your way. No, actually, he helped us. <laughs> Quite the opposite. Can I help her? Mm -hmm. Is tomorrow gonna be all flute or tin whistle? I haven't decided yet. Mm -hmm. So it was the cast. I'm thinking maybe all flute though. Behind it all, Theo told mm -hmm. me he'd been on their trail, and their demise solves three problems at a stroke: mm -hmm. that of the pickpockets, the bandits pulling their strings, and the passes they were stealing. Mm -hmm. I only hope yours is among the items. Oh, yeah, yeah. Only time and Theo's return will tell. Mm -hmm. Speaking of whom, welcome home, dear brother. <laughs> he just lurks in the distance. You are too kind, Eloise. Here, Clive. Goods has passed. Nice. Ask him to keep a closer eye on it from now on, would you? Mm -hmm. I will. Thank you. Well, I've asked our boys to carry the rest of the goods back. Nice. Can I count on your help in sorting through it all? Of course. I'll make some space in the storeroom. Mm. I expect you'll soon be on your way then. She's like, okay, now please leave. wouldn't do to leave without <laughs> introducing yourself properly. Oh yeah, I never said who I was. See. She knew. She knew. Mm. Don't look so shocked. We're on the same side. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. As you now know all too well, we at the Crimson... But Cow how could she have known? To Who told her? In need. For a small fee, we will move anything that needs moving. Be mm -hmm. that goods to market, or bearers away from it. Mm -hmm. I was the first my sister helped escape. Nice. If it wasn't for her, I'd have been branded as a boy. Oh, I had damn. no idea. Just so That's why he cared so much about the children. Our operation. And who better to join forces with than the mm -hmm. leader in the field? Wouldn't you agree, Theo? I like these two. <laughs> they were kind of testing him in a way. In more ways than one. Mm. So what would you say to I feel like Theodore's dying again. soon. One, he's really hot. Two, he's really likable. He's It'll dead. He's so pleasure. dead. <laughs> and our honor. I feel like she's not gonna die because she probably won't You're actually fine. enter any fights. But him, he's so Let's dead. <laughs> mm. Crimson Compass from Theodore. Nice. What is it? I felt like there might be something new here. Owner of the Crimson Caravans, a highly esteemed porterage firm in Falkland. After her younger brother Theodore awakened as a bearer, she helped him to flee from the family's home and build a new life far from those who would see him consigned to slavery. He is a bearer! I thought, I thought so when we met him. He just kind of gave off that vibe. Porter and guard from the Crimson Caravans, the porterage firm that he runs with his beloved sister Eloise, many beasts and bandits have eyed his company's caravans, but to date, he has cut them all down. Theodore is also a bearer, but was spared the brand after awakening late and being spirited away from his family home by his sister, an act of kindness and self-sacrifice for which he's forever grateful. So he didn't actually get the tattoo then, which is why he's able to keep it kind of hidden. <laughs> so now we get to learn about the Crimson Caravans. Ah, that's the red chocobos, the sign! Mm -hmm. The most prestigious portering company in the market town of Buckland, led by the brother and sister team of Theodora and Eloise, for a small fee, they will move anything that needs moving, and if the cargo happens to be bearers recently released from slavery, they may even consider paying it from their own purses. That's so sweet! I like them! Elle has friends in mm. high places, while I have associates in uh, lower ones. Mm. That mark is proof that you're a friend to us both. Mm. Damn. I shall bear it with pride. Well, all that remains is to wish you a safe onward journey. Mm. Goots's path should secure you a place on the caravan, but if you encounter any difficulties, we would be delighted to provide you with a coach of our own. Mm -hmm. For a discounted price, of course. Say, nine million? That's a discount? Try the caravan. <laughs> Fuck you, that ain't no discount. I kept meaning to make the tattoo on my face, and I was finally gonna do it today, but then my 2D didn't work, so. <laughs> Someday I'll be able to play this with the tattoo. Ooh, Breath of Lightning, a new accessory. 
I should look into resetting up my accessories and stuff. Also, Flame Chocobo, thank you for the raid! Is it okay if I pull up one of your clips in a minute? Um, I think it's a okay time now. I'll only do it if you say it's okay though. Welcome in. Um, to anyone who might be new, I'm the CEO of Flame Chocobo, Pam. Um, my iPad's not working. So right now, right now we're streaming a game in 3D. Which isn't the worst, honestly. I'm kind of not hating it. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'd want to do every game like this. Like, 14. As much as it might be kind of cool to react to certain things. I don't know. My, my 2D feels really iconic sometimes. Maybe sometimes we can toss this out. <laughs> can mix it up a little bit. Mm. All right. Mm. I love the music in this game so much. <laughs> I just noticed uh, the glasses actually, you had. I nice. Can Oh, jeez. Okay, the what the hell is going on? The redeem sounds are so loud. The redeem keeps scaring um, me. Actually, hey, you. Okay, that really is malfunctioning. What the hell? Is the button stuck? <laughs> I hate it when stuff like that happens. Thank you for stopping by. Uh huh. All right. Where is the next section? Right now we're playing 16 and we're shortly after Titan. Oh, right nice. now we're trying to cross the border so we can go destroy the next crystal. Mm -mm. Well, we had to get our pass, which was stolen, but now we got it, so we're like ready. We're like ready. Is a nerd redeem those malfunctioning? Oh! I wasn't paying attention to what was happening in the game, so I just assumed maybe the character was like having trouble walking. Really mm. like that. that makes more sense with a redeem. Redeems never work properly, I find. Try not to lose it again. Sometimes they do, sometimes yes. they don't work at all. You found it. Oh, thank you so much. Nan would have killed me if I'd come back. The glasses it. were so cool oh, though. It's a fun redeem. So should you, Hunter. I still have a bunch of 3D redeems I need anymore. to set up. If anyone threatens you again, you know who to turn to. Unfortunately, right when I promised to add all the 3D redeems was when the Depresso arc started and I couldn't do anything. I'm trying to pull myself out of it though. So I'll get them when I can. I didn't forget. You stick at it then. And Goose, I'm sorry for stealing your pass. That's all right. I've got it back now. And all's well that ends well. Yeah. You said you're trained to be a blacksmith, right? Well, I'm gonna be your first customer. That's so I'm cute. I'm gonna save up all my gear and get you to make me a massive sword. This is so I'll precious. Do me best. <laughs> Till then, eh? Gertz is so wholesome. I love him so much. I would die for Gertz. I would sacrifice everyone in this game for Gertz. <laughs> all right. We have a place on the wagon. <laughs> Remember, Goots, we're mercenaries. You hide us to mm -hmm. protect you. Mm -hmm. Mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> this man can't lie for his life. This isn't going to go to very well. All the way to Twinside. Mm -hmm. Jill and I will go with you as far as the outskirts, then find our own way in. Mm -hmm. I'll buy that stuff I need. <laughs> Doing what he actually needs to do. There's a square with a big While escorting people to destroy things. Right in the middle of town. If you get lost, or out goes wrong, we can meet up there. Mm. Alright. Let's go. Mm. Aw, Torgal stood up. He just knew. Oh, goes so well trained. That's a gorgeous crystal. The graphics for it are real nice. I see. And you're quite certain you're. Oh, Ultima! Don, Prince of the Holy Empire of Sunbrick and Dominant of Bahamut, is deeply loyal to his father, Emperor Emeritus Sylvester, and is much pained by his radiance's recent cold-heartedness towards both his people and himself. So he was very dedicated to his father, but now with what's going on right now, he's questioning his father. Damn. He's having an identity crisis. At 
change that Dion learns was largely a result of Annabella's scheming. That makes a lot of sense. I forgot that Ultima was in this game as well. And that that's what Ultima looks like. Okay. Now, there's the other really being that Clive encountered in the Inner Sanctum. He addressed Clive as mythos. Okay, I I'm understand. I'm remembering a lot more now. <laughs> Before attempting to merge their consciousnesses. However, Clive was able to summon the will to resist the creature before Joshua returned from the dead to imprison it in a cage of flame that he sealed away in his own heart. Father has no knowledge of Ultima. I am. I'm glad we get more Joshua. I really like his I time skip no design. That's a really force. nice outfit. I love the red cape that almost looks like flames. Let's be that as it may. Mm. It is yet to claim my father. For better or worse. His radiance speaks his own mind. Then the fiend works from the shadows. Mm. I confess, when first you told me of this fiend, I had my doubts, and more than a few at that. Mm -hmm. A beast that labors to plunge Valisthea into turmoil, or in pursuit mm -hmm. of your brother. But that wound is proof enough that evil is afoot. Mm -hmm. Then I have your answer. Your He's heart. so pretty. I love how they made fight. his eyes and his hair. I cannot. Not yet. I will say I that Joshua is like literally one of the prettiest there. Final Fantasy characters ever. At our gates. His face is so like I don't know how to word it. All hope of a negotiated withdrawal. It is but a matter of time before they advancing more quickly than I imagine. Nice. <laughs> My Final Fantasy XIV oh, pacing is either. carrying over. <laughs> I've gotten better at doing my thing. Though not by Hugo Kupka, thanks mm -hmm. to Ultima's machinations. Mm -hmm. I know the fate of your people weighs heavy on your conscience, but mm -hmm. if we do not put an end to Ultima's plans, they shall face a far darker fate. The chaos he would wreak would sweep all of Valisthea into the abyss. Damn. The lives of every man, woman, and child in the Twins are at stake. That's pretty bad. I believe what you say, Phoenix. But I have duties of my own, and I must mm. discharge them. Come what may. So he's going to listen to his father, then. Do you know of my blood? She knows something. <laughs> I know mm. that it is wholly unworthy of the highest offices of state, which rightly belong to those of purer breeding. Oof. Alas. She's so creepy but seductive at the same time. <laughs> her child's worth in gear. Mm. Have you threatened my father? <laughs> of course not. I merely whispered in his ear. And was very convincing. That his mongrel son is... <gasps> no! No, 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 no! Sylvester listens to the words of his astrologers. No! So now he thinks his son is working against him! Fuck! Fuck! You've been feeding them your lies. Should you remain loyal to Emperor Olivier... His radiance may yet come. So that's why he's not taking him seriously. She's so awful. <laughs> it wasn't bad enough that they were like not getting along. She literally turned his dad that he respected so much against him. Of service to the Empire. I shall forgive this uncharacteristic rudeness. Now hurry and make ready. What about her uncharacteristic root? And I guess it's characteristic. What about her characteristic rudeness? Emperor Olivier Damn. expects much of you, Dion. Or should I say, of Bahamut. I'm calling it. Dion's gonna die soon, and I'm gonna get May Bahamut. May fire reduce his enemies <laughs> to ash. Till all of Phalisthea bows to its rightful ruler. Her body language is so well animated. That probably sounds really weird, but I don't, I don't know how to word it. It's, it brings so much sass and personality 
to her character that just makes her feel like she's actually in the room and she's so intimidating. Like her presence just stole the scene just now. That was really impressive. There is another darkness mm -hmm. that has taken hold of Sandbrack. And until it's, it's like it's my released, step mom the of war shall spread ever wider, just as Ultima wishes. Mm -hmm. Forgive me. My family has caused you much grief. Mm -hmm. You are not her keeper, Phoenix. This is a matter for the Imperial household now, and as a member mm -hmm. of that household, it falls to me to resolve it. At such time as that is done, what strength I have mm -hmm. shall be yours. She is really the embodiment of how power corrupts you, right? Mm hmm. Thank you, mm. Your Highness. Mm. Or maybe more of how the corrupt seek power. Let us take to the skies together. And bring a new dawn to Valisthea. Mm. I should like nothing more. Aww. Dion is dying. Very soon. <laughs> I cannot see him living much longer. Not with the way this plot's progressing. Which is a real shame, because I really love him as a character. My prince. Tell me true. Do you believe what I'm about to do is wrong? Mm. I... We Dragoons have but one leader, your highness. And we shall follow I'm him unto eye. the very end. Thank you. This is my decree. Mm. For their crimes against the crown, the traitorous Annabella and her usurping son shall be put to death. Oh shit! The empire restored. Oh shit! The stepmom is going down! War has been declared! Hot damn! I guess I can't go anywhere else but direct to the Crystalline Dominion. Oh damn. Oh damn. Sure sounds like a coup. I feel like something big is about to happen. <laughs> I think I can stream for another hour and a half. So I might end up stopping if I get to a really good breaking point in around an hour or so. But for now, I want to keep going. Mm -mm. One would never guess that these people stood on the brink of war. Mm. They're afraid. They turn to drink to forget their fears. Mm. Anything you want to forget? The fact that I haven't played this for eight months. <laughs> I should have played the so much sooner. It's so fun! And half the market stores too. The mm. city may seem peaceful on the surface, but it's balanced on a knife edge. Mm. Were we to also, get hold a on. lunch, it might be just the distraction we need to reach the Mother Crystal. I thought you might say that. Mm -hmm. We should send for Gav. We'll need someone to keep the fires we start from going out. And we can busy ourselves scheming until he gets here. Mm -hmm. I'll send a Stolas then. He was barking because he felt bad and thought Clive needed what snuggies. It, I think he noticed something. <laughs> Different reason. Oh shit. The city's on fire. We're more like the palace. Dion, either Dion or um, or Joshua is doing. Not her again, no. She knows. What's happening? I don't know. 
Togol. This way. Just jumps off the roof. <laughs> Just casually. Um, you're expecting this to be the start of next stream? <laughs> That's okay. We might not be able to finish if a big section is coming today, though, unfortunately. But we'll try. We'll get as far as we can. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to end yet. Two hours seems kind of short. Mm -hmm. Fire in the sky. Damn. Yeah, this is one of those games, if I wasn't playing it on stream and like very, very actively watching the time to make sure I get enough hydration and stuff, I very much think that this is also the type of game I would end up playing for way too long. Similar to um, Fire Emblem's Three Hopes, I really enjoyed that game. It, it wasn't one I could keep streaming though, unfortunately. Cause you know that type of game starts to perform pretty poorly after a while and you just you can't really keep doing it unless you want your channel to like suffer <laughs> and for better or for worse it it kind of got me to have to move on because i didn't have time to play it off stream hmm. i like this like rooftop section hmm. it's really cool the design Hmm. I can stream a bit later if we need to. I just don't want to stay up too much later than an hour and a half so I can get waiting rooms up and stuff for tomorrow and get a decent sleep because I'm streaming earlier than usual and I don't want to be too tired. <laughs> I want to be asleep in around three and a half hours. Mm -mm. What in the hell is going on? Let's go and see. Hmm. Right. Damn, the visuals are so nice. Just looking at all the buildings and the fire, just imagine how much work, how much details, how much time went into making this. It's so incredible. Getting to, I think that's my favorite part of gaming in general. I just, I love appreciating all the hard work that went into creating something like this. It's part of why, at least for me, at least for me, reasons for like, um, keeping, people keeping jobs <laughs> aside. That's the main reason I don't enjoy stuff made by AI as much personally. Um, I just, I really like admiring all the work that went into making something. And if something was made with AI, I can't really, I can't really see it as being something um, that was made by a person in the same way. Because a lot, a lot of the effort that was put into it did not come from people. So I can't appreciate all of the human work that went into it. When there's no human work that went into it, you know? <laughs> hmm. But for stuff like this, I can really appreciate all the work that went into making every little detail come to life to create this entire world and then create a beautiful story in it. It's just amazing knowing that why can't I open it? Is there still an enemy? Oh. Just knowing that something like this was created. You know? I really, really love it. Wait down! Oh. Sad that Square says they want to use a lot more in the future. I know. I know. I th it actually broke my heart. I really hope they change their mind. Because Square is one of the companies that very much has a lot of artistry in their stuff. And I feel like if they lose that, they're going to lose so much. They're going to genuinely lose so much about what makes them unique. It's, I just, I really hope they backtrack on that. Otherwise, I don't want to end up not liking their stuff in the future. That's specifically why I enjoy Square's stuff. I love looking at the beautiful acting, the beautiful music, the beautiful, like, it's just a work of art. Especially Final Fantasy feels very much like a work of art, just brought to life with so much love put into it. And I really don't want in the future that to disappear. 
Because then I can't appreciate it in the same way. Is it still good? Maybe. Like, maybe it's aesthetically pleasing and stuff, but I can't enjoy it. Because that's not how I enjoy stuff. I like admiring the work that went into it. And just thinking how wonderful it is that somebody created this thing. And if that card's taken away, the main reason I enjoy it is gone. No doubt about it. That's how my brain operates. The dragoons. What is this then? Mm. The there we go. Yeah, I know. A lot of YouTube channels do like AI art and AI voices. Like they don't even make the video anymore. Like why? Why would you just plug in prompts and make a video? The worst part is a lot of them get a lot of traction because they're built to satisfy the algorithm. I, I genuinely worry. Obviously, I could be proven wrong and maybe it'll just become a new tool. But I genuinely worry that, like, the internet is going to be very overwhelmed with AI content in the future. And it's going to be hard to find anything really made by people anymore. Because it's not lucrative to make stuff. But it is lucrative to put in a bunch of prompts and get instant results. Yeah, I feel like Yoshi P is probably the reason that there's not too much of that stuff now. Because Yoshi P very much respects the artistry, I strongly believe. With how much love he puts into his project, I can't see him leaning towards it. I could be wrong, though. But I, I can't see him wanting that anywhere near this shit. Mm. But when he steps down, it's entirely possible to go wild, you know? Dead internet theory, yeah! Dead internet theory is so scary because every day it looks more and more feasible. You just go online and, like, so little is real people. And once you hit one, like, AI or garbage video, like, even something like 5-Minute Crafts, it might not be AI, but it's engineered to hook you with views. It's not engineered to be good or even safe content. A lot of stuff in stuff like 5-Minute Crafts is actually dangerous. Mm -mm. Like, there are recipes and crafts that can actually blow up your house or, like, kill you. And they get trending on TikTok or whatever. And no one questions it because they're viral. It's like, it's so messed up, you know? AI phone games are bizarre. Yeah, they kind of make me laugh, though, sometimes. <laughs> oh, I saw an EK ripoff that used AI art, and it looks so bad. Do mm -hmm. you feel the same way about combat mechanics and code? Not really, but also yes. Um, the reality is... Code has always had a lot of AI because you need the enemies and stuff to be able to adapt to the player. If you have an AI build the code for you and you don't do any of the work, I feel like that's kind of weird. Um, because code itself does take a lot of creativity to build something. If you use it to assist, like maybe find the mistake or speed it up, that's one thing. But if you just plug in a game and you're like, I want this to do this. And then the AI programs it for you. While that would speed up game development a lot, kind of the same thing. I feel like it takes away a lot of what makes it impressive to me. It doesn't quite take away the creativity, though, in the same way. Which is mainly, for me, that's the main area where I do personally feel like I have an issue. There's always going to be technological advancements that take away jobs. It's inevitable. I don't like it, but it's how it is. I mean, hell, you can see a self-checkout, even as something that has taken away a lot of jobs. But when it's creativity, creativity is meant to like spark certain feelings or emotions, right? And once you take away the humanity behind those feelings or emotions that they want to invoke, I just have very weird feelings on it. It just feels wrong. Mm. I don't know how else to word it. That's why it's been like used as a tool. I don't always think it's a bad thing. But when it's used to do the carrying and to create something, I feel weird about it. For many reasons other than it's taking away work. Yeah, the Electro Wood thing, that was so messed up. You think that was like people using microwaves um, to burn designs in wood and it was actually killing people. Like dead serious, it was killing people who were trying it at home. Because I don't know if you guys know, but you should never fucking mess with a microwave. Never! If there's ever a craft you see online that says to use parts of a microwave, don't do it. Like, it's never worth it. Don't do it, ever. 
Mm -mm. Yeah, passion and heart always shine through. Sure, AI can like kind of get the general vibe if you have a good enough prompt, but it's not. It's not the same to me. And I, I know that some people will argue that it is. But again, it's like if you appreciate something because you appreciate the humanity that went behind it, and then you find out it wasn't made by a person, it's not like oh wow, I guess I can still appreciate it. You feel fucking lied to when you appreciate the artistry and find out it wasn't artistry. It's just disappointing. It's not like, oh wow, I'm so surprised and so impressed. You just feel like you're scammed. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, I'm dying! <laughs> Tee, I'm dying! Me not paying attention at all to my health. <sighs> Recycled artistry. Yeah, a lot of AIs just basically take stuff that already exists and repackage it. Just sploosh them all together and as much as everyone says, no, it doesn't, it literally is the stuff from a library. That's the main, the main issue I think a lot of people have with the current AI art programs. They use a lot of art that was been added without the artist's consent. Which is literally sad. I still don't think using programs like that as a toy is so bad. If you're just playing around with it for fun. But I think as you as long as or as soon as you start using it for like commercial use, when it's used for like plagiarized images and stuff, that's where it's a problem. Otherwise, I don't see it as much different from people like going and making MS Paint collages or whatever with like random PNGs on the internet. If you're not using it commercially, like people are gonna play around with whatever. It's always happened. It always will happen. People just want to play around. But if you're trying to make money off of someone else's work and playing around, that's kind of not great. Where the fuck do I go? I guess that was backwards. <laughs> I don't really know what updates it's got. It's been so long since I've played this game, I'm going to be honest, that I don't think I would know what any of them are. Mm hmm. A ton of conjoint artist ideas placed in a new medium probably would have been okay if they asked. Maybe. I'm, I'm gonna be real. Most of the artists would probably say no. And they have every right to. Damn it. We'll have to find a way around. Yeah, I've been trying to find a way around. <laughs> hmm. I, think it, I don't think anyone should judge artists that say yes and do consent and build a library from their own art. Like, they have the right to make that decision. But I don't think, I think a lot of artists would not be okay with their art being used in that way. Because it's like, they want to make their art themselves, right? They don't want, like, a robot to do it for them. They didn't work all that hard getting good at it just to have a robot take over. Mm. Mm. An artist did get in trouble recently for that, dang. Stop, in the name of his highness. I feel like it's weird to get in trouble if they made it with their own art, though, but still. Mm -mm -mm. One update was the alternative outfits. I did hear that there's alternative outfits and glamours. Uh, I just never checked it out. Where do I find the alt outfits? Can I do it from here, or do I have to be in the camp? It could be fun to check out for a minute, if I can do it from here. Uh-huh. If again, the way AI will replace a lot of people in simple jobs, but that's the thing, it's already happening. Outside of AR, AI art and stuff, you're already having like self checkout. You're already having call centers, having like an automated bot system before you get to a person and then they get rid of staff in person. So they minimize it and have less. It's at HQ, okay. You're already having a lot of jobs replaced by it. And that's, that's nothing new. You had like carriage drivers replaced when cars became mainstream. The job market is always changing. I'm not saying it's good though. I'm not saying it's good or bad. I think just replacing every job with it when there's no alternative jobs for similar skill levels being added is a big problem though. Because then you just have a lot more people with no jobs. The reality is the advancement of technology should lead to like, more people, I guess, not having to do shit. Like, being able to live easy easy lives, I suppose. 
But instead of being able to leave, live easy lives, it's kind of just, um, for a lot of people, just taking away <laughs> any job and then they're suffering financially. So it's not like they get to magically relax and not have to work. It's more like, oh shit, now, now I can't work. <laughs> Which is like the opposite of what it's supposed to be doing. It's supposed to be improving the quality of life, but that's not what it's doing half the time. I agree, AI should be a tool, not a replacement. Like if you're gonna take away cash registers, for example, for self-scan, then why don't you have more people in the store elsewhere helping people or walking around? Like there's definitely ways you can have the same amount of staff. But it's complicated because no one wants to do that because they can save money. <laughs> um, and I think a big part of it too is just a no. And I don't know the answer. I don't know if the answer is embrace as much as possible or limit it. But we don't really have any regulations on what AI can or can't do. Also, is the volume okay when I'm fighting? <laughs> so it makes it a little difficult where it's like so new and unregulated. It can kind of just run wild for now. Mm -mm. You kind of lucky they are a janitor? I don't know! What if we got some industrial room buzz? <laughs> Volume's okay? Okay, I'm glad. The fighting is really loud for me, so I was like, wait, what if you guys can't hear shit? <laughs> okay, we're good. That's true, we don't live in a post-scarcity world. For now, for now it is mostly hurting people because people need more money. It's just a sucky situation all around for everybody. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know how playing Final Fantasy 16 turned into AI politics, but here, here we are! <laughs> somehow, somehow. We ended up here. Maybe because I watched Pantheon last night too, so my brain is doing the big thinking. Mm mm mm. Aww. Let me see. Um, I keep meaning to watch Stranger Things, but I never started it yet. I heard it's really good though. Uh, that's true though! 16 has a lot of politics, so maybe the game just brought us there. <laughs> That's, that's so valid, actually. The game just decided to... <laughs> I gotta be careful with discussions like that, though. But AI is okay. I'm pretty sure. I don't want to bring up anything that could spark too much of a debate. I gotta be careful. Um, I think I went backwards. Isn't this where I came from? This is totally where I came from. <laughs> oh, no. Whoops. Tech companies say they want regulation, but usually what they mean is we want barriers to entry since we get to write the legislation. I, I feel like a lot of it... Hmm... How do I word it? A lot of it is tech companies saying that they want regulation, but what they, what they actually mean by we want regulation is not we want to protect our workers. They, they want... We want written loopholes that we can later use to exploit everyone. Because if it's written down and it's, it's approved, it's okay. I think that's more what they mean. Mm-mm-mm. Hold L3, true. I can't. I can't. Oh, it just shows me what direction to go, kinda. Or I just spin. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Ah, here we go. This is what I missed. Mm-mm-mm. Okay. They won't really squash out any potential competition. I mean, isn't that kind of what Dion's dad is almost doing? <laughs> He's like, we need to destroy everyone, then there's no competition. And, the, and Dion's like, but dad, then there'll be no one else alive. And he's like, okay, but there's still no competition. <laughs> <sighs> At least that's what Annabella's thinking. Hmm. Give me a minute. Mm -mm -mm. I've seen it. Oh my god, I can't remember the exact post. But I know, um, let me, hold on. It's kind of relevant, so I want to look it up real quick to see if I can find it. Um, hold on. I 
find exactly what it was. Hold on. I'm trying to find a tweet that explained one other thing that's just been annoying me now that I'm in rant mode. Uh huh? Oh yeah, Torv can point me the right way. Um, let me see. Star Wars game that I, I've only seen a few, so I don't know the full context. But from what I've seen, it I think he was one of the artists that made character models. He's been making a lot of like really thinly veiled racist comments about games from Asia because um, people are saying they don't like his games because his characters aren't pretty. So then he's like making, like, he's making really gross comments in turn about games from Asia, and I'm just like, bruh. Yeah. Bruh. Both kind of games can be fair, but you don't need to make disgusting comments. And it's been very annoying. It is nothing new, unfortunately. I just don't understand why those arguments even exist. It's like, can't we just appreciate all types of games? If one's not for you, you don't have to call it out and insult it. Just don't play it. The market will speak for itself. If enough people don't want to play a certain type of game, it'll disappear. Because at the end of the day, money talks. And so if you want to enjoy a type of game, then support it. If you don't want to enjoy another type of game, you don't have to like shit on it. Just don't play it. <laughs> uh, he was an artist for Riot. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a Star Wars game that sparked the debate, though. Mm. Our former artist for Riot. I don't know if he still works with it. Mm. The market is speaking, which is why they lash out. Well, the market's speaking, so they can lash out all they want, but people are also speaking in turn. Mm -mm. I personally really do enjoy certain art styles. How a game looks does... Can you see often anywhere? make me decide if I'm gonna play something or not. You can call me what you want for that. I wanna look at pretty people when I play games, okay? <laughs> it's not reality. I don't think there's anything wrong with games that don't lean into pretty people, but if I'm choosing what to play, I wanna play with pretty people. <laughs> ah, it's Bahamut! Mm. Is it to fight Dion? I, I thought he was gonna team up with me. I guess I gotta fight him. Shit. I guess I was right about him dying, and I'm gonna kill him! Must be one of the Dragoon's pets. Oh wait, I guess that's not Bahamut. This is just a random dragon. Okay. <laughs> ah! Me forgetting. Is there an attack I can use to get really close to him really fast? <laughs> that would certainly help right now if there was. That was a little scary. Why is this fight a little easier than I thought? But I'm also very early fight, so I could be horrifically wrong on that. Those things are moving slowly, but I think they'd fuck me up real bad if they caught me. Okay, that would have fucked me up if I wasn't on this mode. <laughs> the Bahamut PTSD in the mail. Just, no, Bahamut wasn't too bad. I wasn't really alive in the game when that happened, you know? That wasn't my problem. <laughs> uh, at least the original. At least the Calamity. Yeah! Oh, Titan's attack is more of a charge and release? Okay, hold it until it's in the red zone. Got it. Which one is Titan? Not this one. This is Ramy. I think. And this is the 
Phoenix. I think it has something in store for us. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Ah! Okay, I can dodge through them. Nice. Oh, oh god, oh god, I'm dying! Ah! Oh, that was not good. <laughs> So bad! Oh my god, I almost fucking died. Holy hell. Come on, come on, come on! Meow! Meow. Like this one? Oh, I get it now! I forgot about that! That's why the hand hasn't been popping up. Ah! I did not make it out of the fire or the ice or whatever the fuck. I am so fucking dead. I might lose this battle. Oh wait, that was also a charge. Shit, they're both charges. Okay, got it. I'm not even remembering to charge Titan's attacks, but this is so fine. This is so fine! <laughs> yeah! Okay, that was fine. That was fine. Everything else is so not fine. I just want to stay out of the wingies. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit. Ah, the bubbles! The bubbles! The killer bubbles! <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god! charge them without fucking dying. Yeah! Nice. So much damage! <laughs> You're so dead. As long as I can survive another round of danger bubbles. Which I didn't... I didn't do a very good job of surviving last time. I did, but like barely. Should I really get a staggering the enemies and avoiding damage? Oh, I'm just taking a lot of damage. <laughs> I just look at the better moves instead of just using the early ones. Oh well. <laughs> hey, I live. <laughs> I live, bitch. That's all that matters at the end of the day, right? <laughs> just as the ice attack was coming, Walter perfect timing. Mm -hmm. He's alright. Barely, man. Goats. There you are. Barely. I didn't know there'd be a dragon. Mm-hmm. <sighs> All right. Man Let's just ran and hid. <laughs> Understandable. Oh. I think I would too. What now? Is that mm. Mother Crystal's heart? Mm. What the hell is it doing up there? So there's Dion. Do you have some potions left? Uh... <laughs> I'm so dead for the next fight. <laughs> you know, don't worry about it. Attacking all the innocent 
the people, though. Didn't you want to protect the people? Why? Unless he's trying to bait me into killing him and the crystal. This doesn't seem to line up with his goals at all. Unless he's following his dad, hoping that I'll kill him. Your Highness, don't do this. Hmm. We must leave. Now, Your Grace, I beg of you. Damn. This is not what he wanted. No. Something's happened. Forgive me. It's really not what he wanted. I was gonna say, this seems completely wrong. How's Becky Match? The next big fight is pretty long. I have about an hour. I might save before it, and if it takes too long, we can come back and do it next time. Um. Dang. He's trying. He's trying to kill the heart. Oh damn! I didn't expect him to be going after the mother crystal. Although it makes sense. Um. I feel like it's gonna corrupt him though. Mm. It's like building up a protected crystal around it. It's even bigger than the other one was. Maybe not thicker, but just tall. Mm. And it looks way more dangerous. Hmm. Now that I know at least this has to do with Bahamut, I should probably change the thumbnail for the VOD, huh? <laughs> we might come I didn't think I'd be at a big as part as the today. Down, the Imperials and the but I got so speedy. This may be our only chance. And Bahamut has gone for now. You should get as far away as you can, Boots. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Go protect what? yourself. And leave you slot in the ledge. <gasps> I think I'd rather him just leave though for his own sake. <laughs> uh. I won't be giving it away for free. None would never forgive us if I did. Thank you, Goots. Hey Goots, you got any potions? I can. Goots <laughs> mm. is the good. I love him. I love him. He's staying in hiding. You know, he likes to think of it as being supportive. It's just, it's, you know, trying to help in his own way. <laughs> Where am I? Where, where did it save? Um, okay, that must be the newest one. Okay. Um, should I change any of the abilities? Or icons? I don't know if I want to use... Ramu, I kind of enjoy Garuda as well. Hmm. Well, I feel like Ramu, I might have um, leveled up a bit better because I like the elements with it. Um, I might just keep it. Abilities. Are there any new ones I should look into getting? Flames of Rebirth. I could upgrade some that I use a lot, maybe. We're looking to grabbing some of the other ones. Aerial Blast. I don't. I haven't been using Garuda. Lightning Rod. Create a ball of lightning. I don't think I'd use that that much. I like the Titan ones. Um, Raging Fist. Oh, that looks fun. Ah, uh, Re Raging Fists looks really fun. I kind of want that. Forward and deliver a blinding flurry of high speed punches. Block an enemy attack with the step forward and increases the potency of the following punches. So, this looks like a really good one to have. And then this one's really expensive. 
Um, Earth and Fury. I have enough for it, though. Oh, no, I don't have enough for it. <laughs> uh, drive both hands into the ground. Cause the land to search upwards. I want to save up for this one. I won't spend any more because I want to get that. Okay. Do you need out? I've got some good stuff Please for you. Please have potions. I am begging. Ooh. I guess better sword than I have. I should get the diamond sword. How much money is it, though? 3,000. Oh, I have a shit ton of money. Thank you. Because <laughs> I haven't been buying anything. Okay. I should look into upgrading everything I can. Oh, that's a pretty big improvement. Right on. There you go. Mm -mm. I have not upgraded my shit in a long time, have I? <laughs> The shops never give you what you need. I know. <laughs> it's always so painful. Mm -hmm. Metian bonds. Is this one... Are the purple ones are all limited, aren't they? Are the purple ones always ones I should buy that are, like, character-relevant and limited? Or am I, am I remembering wrong? Yeah, the orchestration rules are pretty expensive from what I heard. Mm -mm. Hunter's arm clothes medallion ooh that one looks useful for me how else you don't how need? much i tend to die some of the accessories are quite expensive too dragon time <gasps> hello sweet angel there's there's potion there's one i will take this one potion Thank you, you goats. <laughs> Thank you, goats. <sighs> Can elixirs heal me as well? Or does elixir only help like... Oh, restores all HP. Oh! Damn! <gasps> I... Oh, two is only... Okay, here we go. <laughs> How else you don't need? <gasps> I'm desperate. Done, then. <gasps> I'm so desperate not to just drop dead here. Okay, I'm selling. Wait, what? <laughs> no, what do you mean? Just let me get my what stuff out. What do you out. mean? Thank you. Selling. <laughs> I didn't see anything. You didn't see anything. <laughs> the one time I clean out my inventory. Sorry. Shut up! <laughs> listen, listen. Thank you. I still have my potions. What do you mean? What do you mean? I didn't sell anything. <laughs> this is. This is, this is fine. <laughs> At the end of the day, I still have everything, so. Oh, you're right. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Right on, there you go. Oh. Oh. Is there how else you need? I don't need an elixir. <laughs> I think I'll be able to make do with the others. Mm -mm. I, th I think my spots are full anyway. What else I can do for you? <laughs> that's, that's fine. I see. This is why we save. <laughs> What's the big Welcome hammer? Is the this for like improving big stuff? Ah, uh -huh. <laughs> okay, okay. I want to equip my good shit. Or does it automatically equip your armor? Ah, okay. Uh, optimize gear with three. There you go. Mm. Okay. Diamond sword. And then I can go what to the big do hammer. Uh, reinforce. And then I can see if I can up anything I have. 
Lyman Sword. Hmm. I don't think I'm gonna up it's anything here. I think I might just save. Oh. Uh, I think I'm okay. Hmm. All right. <gasps> Since we're apparently just about to get to a big fight. Uh, ignore my stretching. I want to go grab some more water and go to the bathroom now. Because I think it's going to be very difficult to do that in a while. So I should probably do it now. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a few minutes for probably a really good part, it looks like, from what we're building up to right now. I'm excited! <laughs> I will see you guys very soon. So close, I can take. <laughs> you want to sing flow with me? Let me try singing flow again with this part. Um, I don't even. I'm gonna put her back in her bed. I picked her up out of her bed. She's really mad at me. <laughs> yeah, I'll put you in bed. I know. She's trying to like fall asleep on my shoulder. She's mad. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I, I needed the kettle to boil. So I was like, if I gotta kill a few minutes, you guys can see my poppy. Any, are you okay? So, any, are you okay? Are you okay, Eddie? Any, are you okay? So, any, are you okay? Are you okay, Eddie? Any, are you okay? So, any, are you okay? Are you okay, Eddie? You've been hit by, you hit by a smooth criminal. Assuming that's some kind of creature. I take face connect for 200? Okay. Sheena openly admitted on stream to practicing mating press reps with her Daki Makura. Who is on the Daki? Is it Virgil from Double May Cry? Pippa from Face Connect, <laughs> Kurumi from Data Live, or Leon from Resident Evil 4. <laughs> what the fuck is going on in my coworker's <laughs> streams? Stuff. Come on, baby! We only have a few people left, but it's so close. Thank you, thank you. Just in time, just in time, just in time. Okay, all I have to do is stay fucking alive. I am near the same that is Um. Jen, it's me! I don't remember where to go! Fuck, fuck, fuck! The only problem, I'm gonna give you one disclaimer with Edoge right now. <laughs> if we pick an Edoge, it, we might have to localize an all ages version. Um, I know that the Switch can have, like, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna use blunt words. I know the Switch can have, ha okay, here's the difference. I know the Switch can have hentai, but I don't know if the Switch can have porn. The difference being hentai on Switch is often like very subtly, like, um, very subtly censored just enough to get away with having it on the Switch. I don't think I've seen straight up coochie on a Switch game or anything like that. So <laughs> I know that titties can be on Switch games a little more than before, but um, I have to pick something that'll be okay on the Switch, okay? <laughs> so, um, it, you have to keep, keep your expectations within reason. I can, I can, I can curtsy. I can curtsy. <laughs> I can, I can also go foo! I kinda gives you a little flashbang though, I'm sorry, but. <laughs> Wait, I love how fluffy, 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 fluffy. I can't help but doing it all the time. <laughs> and the hair! <laughs> <laughs> this 
is so cursed. But I love it so much. <laughs> I love how we were about to end the stream and instead we just started a cult and this is great. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay! So that night when I came home, I mixed him his drink as usual. You know, some guys just can't hold their arsenic. He had it coming. He had it coming. He took a flower in it. What am I watching? What am I watching? Oh, oh god. No, oh god! Oh, you know what? Stay, stay there. <laughs> <laughs> um, from my point of view, this what looks incredibly this sus so right now. Come on! This is so bad! Yeah, I gotta film it, I gotta film it. Suddenly, I felt the temperature in the room drop. A cold wind tugged at my clothes, and I realized I was fucking naked. The draft was going across my legs because I had woken up and forgot my pants. <laughs> huh? This feeling, this feeling of my exposed derriere. These are some intense door knockers. I misread it. Um, before she actually read it out loud, and I thought it just said these are some intense knockers, and I was like, the fuck? The fuck is this referring to? <laughs> we have... Oh, shit, hold on. <laughs> Next up, we have... Lane! So I'm gonna grab Lane. Um, chum, chum, chum. Okay, hold on. Robin, you know. Man, my boobs are just too powerful. <laughs> I, keep... <laughs> I keep smacking them! <laughs> I did not anticipate this, because in my tests, I wasn't reaching over my iPad. <laughs> I've always, I've always want wanted a hot man okay. to sit on my desk and stare we are at me back. disappointment. <gasps> I, I didn't realize how hot my PC and my PS5 were getting. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, is it just me or is it really hot in here? <laughs> no, my PS5 and my PC have turned into space heaters right now. <laughs> oh, this, this, is, you know, this is fine. Let me just check task manager real quick. I'm assuming that's pretty normal with this game. But, whew, I'll be a little toasty. <laughs> I had to turn the PS5 away from the box because the heat has been seeping in and I'm like dying. <laughs> Sounds about right, yeah, that's what I was Time thinking. With this game, I've heard people saying it basically turns your PS5 into Ifrit, so. <laughs> it sounds pretty normal. Mm -hmm. oh, it's past time. Can but we just, can we kill Annabella yet? <laughs> And I dare say we'll the task manager is okay, don't worry. I do want to check it one more time, though. I don't know if it says temperature. Where can I see the temperature? You know what? I don't remember where to see temperature. Let's just hope it's okay. If the PC actually lights itself on fire or starts melting, I think there will no probably be some warnings beforehand that I need to turn shit off. <laughs> By stuff malfunctioning or whatever. I am running my 3D while playing this, to be fair. But I mean, one's on PC, one's on PS5, so it's not actually that bad. It just means they're both kind of maximum capacitying. Oh, look at all the sparkles down there. So beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, I forgot to retweet that I'm back. Hold on. So hot. Bam. Okay. <sighs> I didn't realize how hot it was because I was distracted by the story. <laughs> now that I know, I'm just like, whoa! That's some temperatures. Yeah! Yeah! one where I just like go at stuff really fast and smack the shit out of it. Yeah! <laughs> I really like Titans first. They're very amusing. You guys are 
best just sit there and amuse yourself with Titan's fists. Punching the absolute shit out of everything. <laughs> it's very fun. Some people did get warnings from their PS5. Okay, so if there's a problem, it should give me a warning. Good to know. Mm. Until I see a warning. <laughs> I assume we're okay. That's just my max out of it. Oh, there's a fan! Oh, wait, no, this is just a fire. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was a fan. I was like, cool, an extra one to help me right now. Chunks of wiring. You just turn the AC up to cool back down. Um, I can't really do that right now though, because the rest of the warehouse is very cold. <laughs> I think it would cause problems for my dog if I wanted to do that. I just gotta tough it out. This way? Hmm. Time to fight. Always time to fight when you are Clyde for us. <laughs> And this is his life, is just to fight. No! Yeah, well, no, there's a problem if Ifrit starts to come out of the PC. Which, honestly, would be pretty cool. I wouldn't mind meeting Ifrit, so, you know, that's kind of worth it. You have that experience. <laughs> it's a once-in-a-lifetime experience! To meet a primal, or whatever they're called in this game, a bearer! I wanna, I wanna meet. I wanna meet Ifrit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though I am Ifrit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just look in a mirror. <laughs> don't mention the Clives. <laughs> I thought you said don't mention the Clives near Crystal, and I was like, huh? Can I not hurt this thing anymore? Oh, there we go. Oh shit. I guess he wasn't the only enemy left then. For some reason I thought he was. Oh shit, I'm dying! <laughs> I didn't even notice I was dying. Amazing. Amazing. I know that um, Stellar Blade isn't out next week, so I should be able to play this next week regardless. Of, um of how um does it end up being hopefully it's more the week after i'm a little worried about finding time for it mm. ah here we go i think there's a way up i just couldn't remember what direction it was imagine people who don't look the wrong way and just never get the crystals <laughs> probably missing out on so many of them hmm I'm probably missing out on so many where I'm not doing side stuff, but you know, sometimes you want to finish games. And I think it's great that games can have so much side content that you can keep going seemingly forever. But also, I'm the type of person to never finish anything because of it. Well, it's a better spend of money because, like, you know you're getting so many hours out of it. It's a little bit rough when it comes to balancing when you have a lot of games. <laughs> uh... <laughs> okay, good, he knows. <laughs> I couldn't remember if he knew that the Phoenix was Joshua or not. Keeping the harm and occupied. Mm -hmm. Distracting him. Joshua! Joshua! Don't, Clyde. It's too dangerous. Mm -hmm. Joshua. <laughs> I forgot that he says fuck in this and he, it threw me off so hard hearing Clive say fuck. <laughs> I was like, whoa there! We just need to keep moving. I'm not used to games allowing the protagonists to say fuck. <laughs> it's such a powerful moment when you just let the protagonist say fuck. Because you know what? It would have been the same vibe. He was like, darn it! Or whatever. Just let him say fuck. And then you really understand the gravity of the situation. <laughs> it is like its favorite word, yeah. It's been so long since I played that I haven't heard any fucks in a while. I like the music right now with the choir coming in. Mm. Intense. 
I mean, to be fair, this is a pretty intense section. We got my brother, who should be dead, but is not dead. Um, turning into a phoenix and fighting Bahamut, who doesn't even want to do what he's doing, and we don't know why he's doing what he's doing. He's just kind of, at this point, destroying everybody and everything. Damn. This whole section's a banger music-wise. Good! I do love me some musical bangers. Joshua! Most pro tags don't even get to damn it. <laughs> Some do. Joshua! Mm. Oh, he still yelled, even knowing you can't hear him. Heading for the heart. Mm. And so should we. I mean, we were coming here to destroy it anyway, so. <laughs> That's just convenient. Mm. I can't believe this is halfway through the game. This literally feels like some finale shit. Like this literally sounds like the type of music and feels like the type of fight that you would see end game. The fact that this is so early is just fucking wild. I can't even imagine how big the finale must get if this is early. Like this shit must go just absolutely nuts. I kind of love that. I think I need to go that way, yeah. Anytime a choir comes in on a song, it adds so much to me. I love that. I don't think they just they explained fully why he's destroying everything. He did explain what he wants to do. I just don't understand how destroying everything is helping him do that. Because he wants to get rid of Annabella and his brother. Which is basically... He has committed his intention to basically overthrow the rulers. But I don't know how this would help him with that. Thing. Even Clive and Joshua are kind of like, they kind of get what he's doing, but they don't understand why. Unless I also missed something. But it didn't seem to be something he wanted to do. So it's kind of like weird. Mm. At least the big stone things are kind of slow. So you can stagger them a bit easier. New enemies approach, but too bad I'm still fighting this one. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck it up! It hasn't explained. Okay, so it's not just me. You can kind of guess some potential reasons. Um, but I don't want to say too much. In case I end up being right or wrong and people confirm either way. <laughs> I just want to enjoy it and we'll see when we get there. Nice. Just goes to show you how intense the game is. Yeah! If this is halfway through. Holy moly. I think it's a shame that the game, to an extent, died off so quickly. But I also get it if it's not that long of a game, you know. People finish it and move on. For single player games especially. That's just the way it works. You know, you finish a game, you play a new game. <laughs> Mm. I think a big part of it being so limited in terms of fandom and popularity post-release as well is where it's PS5 exclusive. I get it. There's a lot of perks that come with releasing an exclusive, so I can get why maybe they wanted to take the deal. Mm. But I think it did hurt the success that the game could have had. Are those the council chambers? If that makes sense. How are they still standing? I don't know. Is it conveniently? <laughs> conveniently protected somehow. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, this way? Mm. Yeah, it did still felt really well considering it was an exclusive. Mm-mm-mm. 
I do hope it comes to PC, although, you know, a lot of the, a lot of Square's PC ports haven't been that great. <laughs> so maybe part of me doesn't. But it would be nice for other people to at least have a He'll chance, right, as long Clive. as it's not broken. He's a survivor. Mm -hmm. We're getting close. Oh, heck! It looks like somebody to someone is getting any. No! Who is that? Wait, is that? I. Is that? Is that another form of that dude? Necrophobe. No, that's a new person. Okay. So Necrophobe's a new boss. Got it. Maybe we don't fight Bahamut now then. Maybe we're like trying to. Maybe we'll just talk. We have like a nice talk with Bahamut. We just fight this guy. <laughs> I'm surprised he let me charge an attack. I thought he would have just obliterated me in the time it took to do, you do that. Okay, <laughs> this time he didn't let me. <laughs> I think this part would fuck me up real bad if I wasn't on like easy mode. <laughs> oh, this is making me fear a stellar pain. I could do this battle without it, I think, but for the sake of streaming, if you, you guys mainly want to see me react to the story, you don't want to see me have challenging fights. Like that's that's not a downside or anything, but it's not what you're here for. So I have for this type of game I think if for like a story heavy one, easier makes more sense. Because that's what you guys want out of the experience. But when it comes to like <laughs> um Stellar Blade, I feel like you guys more want me to take a souls like approach where I, I suffer <laughs> and learn like I did in the demo. Um Stellar, well, Stellar Blade looks like it has an excellent story. I don't think the story is its primary, like, interest. I don't think people are playing it for the story. Some people might, but it, it feels to me more like it's a gameplay one. Mm. You're here to see me suffer emotionally, though. Not from battles, right? <laughs> you want to see me suffer emotionally. Mm -hmm. I still might end up going easy with Stellar Blade. I haven't decided yet. We'll figure it out. Um, put like closer to release. Mm. Both? <laughs> well, too bad. For this game, for this game, I don't want to have it be too difficult because I just kind of want to get through the story as fast as I can in this one where it's such a long game. Mm -mm. Otherwise, because of my schedule, we'll never be able to finish it. That's just the reality. I think that's the same with Final Fantasy XIV, um, why you guys wanted me to do Coils Unsynced. Because <laughs> you guys just wanted me to get through it and not worry too much. I was just very stubborn. But you guys were more interested in seeing um, just me react to the story than like being stuck there for three streets. <laughs> Although it was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And I don't regret doing it. I've heard a lot of people say that finishing this game changed their life. So I'm very excited to see how it makes me suffer. <laughs> I think I, I saw on Twitter when Octavio finished, he said he stayed up all night crying. <laughs> and I'm just like, I can't wait to finish now. I want to stay up all night crying. I need this game to ruin me. I'm not playing this to smile. <laughs> also, that was easy. Necrophob vanquished. Nice. He's afraid of dead people. Well, too bad. Now he joins them. <laughs> uh. Oh, was a few more than three streams? I thought it was exactly three. Three that we were stuck on T9 at least. <laughs> ah. mm. please, it broke please. me deeply. I'm so ready. I'm so stronger. ready. <laughs> mm. We can think about them later. 
Mm. Right now, there's only one thing we need to focus on. Mm -hmm. The heart. Yeah. Alrighty. I'm gonna save again here. Because I am, I am wondering if soon might be a good spot to stop for the day. Um, we'll see how long it takes me to get to the final boss. Because I was originally planning on stopping in around half an hour. Uh, it became part of Cliff. <laughs> As you do when you die in an RPG. Become the particle effects. Was it this one? Oh, it's that one. Okay, so it's L. Mm -hmm. You don't want three hours of cutscenes? I need to sleep! I have a collab early tomorrow, and I have other stuff to do before I can sleep! I don't think it'll be three hours of cutscenes, so if it is, please warn me. <laughs> Well, this might be a long fight with a few cutscenes. Okay, so the next big boss is about 40 to 50 minutes of boss and cutscenes. <laughs> okay, maybe we should save when we get there, though. <laughs> and then we can start there next week. If it's actually going to be that long. That way, too, if it's a really interesting part that a lot of people want to see, um, people can know in advance when I'm going to play it. That's probably good. Mm -mm. It's here? Like, when I right when I open this door? We can at least watch the pre-cut scene first. We've already started it. <laughs> we just might not do the fight. We can watch it again next time if I decide. Mm -mm. He, he tried to take him from me. No, he didn't. You're a fucking. Boy. Oh, actually, he did. <laughs> he very much wanted to kill your son <laughs> and you, darling boy. You expect? You expect me? Me of all people? Who was abandoned Why by you to feel to any pity right now? You little bitch! <laughs> Hello, mom. Answer him. Yeah, yeah answer him. <laughs> savage. Show some respect for those who raised Show you. some respect for another human being beyond your psychopathic son. Honorable Elwyn, always thinking of his precious. I just realized there's probably some interesting shit for her. <laughs> You betrayed her? I mean... <laughs> okay, maybe it kind of goes both ways. <laughs> Technically, right now I'm betraying her. She very much betrayed Jill, yeah. But I mean... Technically, Jill also betrayed her by trying to murder her in turn, but I think she kind of deserved it. <laughs> Empress Emeritus of the Holy Empire of Sunbreak and Viceran of the Imperial Province of Rosaria, which she rules with an iron fist. She also long labored to see her son, Prince Olivier, seated on his father's throne, a plan that comes to fruition after she schemed with Yukuko Kupka to bring an end to Dalmikia's long siege of Twinside and seize this triumph ascribed to the young prince. Okay. Homeland. But what mm. worth is a homeland in a world beset mm. by the blight? Mm. Father did not seek to protect his country. He sought to protect his people. God, ben Starr is going it off is right now. Protect his people. It is to protect the source of his sovereignty. That's a bad the leader. That runs in his family's That's a veins. fucking bad the leader. Bloodline remains unbroken. What does it matter if, if you only care about, about your own bloodline, you're failing another. everyone Unlike you lead. Him, I did my duty. I preserved my line. I bore a son of the noblest blood to whom the whole world might kneel. That, that poor son is being so traumatized right now. That I might join my line with the Lasages and birth a savior of this benighted land, blessed by both Bahamut and the Phoenix. She is losing it. You sold your country for a child. <laughs> Why did he need another? You had Joshua. I had nothing. You were always your father's son, so very strong and bold and daring, and yet you failed to awaken. Would that Joshua had been granted a tenth of your strength. Oh. So Joshua awoke, but he was too weak. How the nobles laughed that Elwyn's firstborn mm. was surely the son of a concubine, and my own, not long for this world. The shame of it. The shame of being slandered by one's inferiors. I think her pride is Ever causing a little bit of a feels. problem. And she's it losing sight you. of what actually matters in reality. <laughs> 
it's not like I didn't want to be chosen. Shoulder the burden that you and the Phoenix and the Duchy foisted on him. That's why mm. I became his shield. Mm. To help bear the weight. But, but I guess that never mattered. You you cried. <laughs> she just cried. Surrendered your son to his father. Yeah! You tell her! Joshua. My darling boy. You don't give a fuck about Joshua. I don't even pretend. I never meant to hurt him. The soldier's orders were clear. He was to be spared. He was, technically. Why did you survive when the only one I truly cared for died? Wow. Tell your son, why did you survive? I never cared about you. Have you not looked out of the window? Yeah. <laughs> Have you not seen that Joshua is, like, right here? <laughs> here. The Phoenix lives mm. on. Hello, JD. He's battling Bahamut as we speak. Yeah, worst mom in history. A million percent. <laughs> At least she cares about one son. <laughs> uh, that scream is satisfying. That does not look good. Wake up! Don't tell me I have to watch him die again. Fuck no. Fuck no. As a reminder, no spoilers or hinting or anything, please. <laughs> I'm a shield of Rosaria. Uh. Don't make me watch him die twice, please. And I will no, do No, not my, my son. Not my son. Not What's my little it? brother. Mm. That's true, she only wants power, but she's actually done nothing for it. Get him, Quad. That is danger. I might want to call it here. I figure we can probably watch the cutscene. And then maybe we can end it if it's a good spot to end it. Mm -mm. Joshua. Ah! It'd be cool if they fought together. But I think Joshua's a little oh. battered right now. <laughs> I love the animation here. It's so cool! <laughs> Mega Flare. <laughs> I don't like the move Mega Flare. I know what that's done. I've seen what that can do. I do not enjoy it. Oh, wait, shit! Okay. I don't think I can pause mid mid battle, so maybe we have to do the fight. Shit. <laughs> um, this is. This is. I can't save mid fight. <laughs> It's because I know some of you have played this before. <laughs> Should I call it here and we can rewatch that cutscene and jump right into this next time? Or do you think there will be an okay spot to stop maybe within the next half an hour or so? And I should continue. It's like an hour long fight. Ah! <sighs> um... Maybe. <gasps> okay, maybe. <laughs> maybe we should stop. <laughs> oh, cute. But on the bright side, on the bright side, if we stop it here, we know that next time we stream 16, we're coming into an absolute banger section. I might ask you guys for help as well, thinking of um, thumbnails that I can use for it that people will recognize. I might use something from the cutscene I just was in, but I want something that won't be too spoilery for people who don't, um, who haven't got there yet when they see it, but people who got there will immediately know. Um, um, only half an hour in easy mode, maybe? Even so, if it's half an hour of gameplay, there's still also cutscenes, right? Um, so maybe, maybe because I saved, this is going to be a good spot to call it, I think. Yeah. If I knew I could finish it and the cutscenes in half an hour, that would be one thing. But it sounds to me like the fight itself is going to be around half an hour and then there's also going to be cutscenes on top of that. I have three streams tomorrow and a song cover and an announcement. 
Uh, so... <laughs> I, I can't stay up too, too late. <laughs> It's already a stupid o'clock, and if I, if I knew I could finish this entire section in 30 minutes, I would go all in. Um, but it sounds like maybe it's not the call I can make right now. <laughs> and that's okay. It'll be good practice for Stellar Blade coming back to this, just keeping up with more fast energy stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> that being said, I guess... I guess... I'm gonna wrap up then. Um, can I go back to the main menu from here? I guess not the main menu of the game anyway. Hey, that's fine. <laughs> uh, hold on. Um, okay, I just I can just turn the PS5 off and it'll still have my last save, right? My last manual save. Oh, my you know me? Uh, but yeah, that 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 was a really intense section, so that's gonna be really fun. Ah. Uh, I was expecting this to be the end of my next stream. Nice. <laughs> I I feel like I have been able to pick up the pace a bit. Um, I don't. I still feel like I do struggle quite a bit with talking while playing. But what I'm trying to work on is um, paying less attention, I guess, to the stuff that doesn't matter as much. If there's anything crucial, you guys will help me figure it out. Because <laughs> um, I, I love doing story games, but I know I'm really slow with them. Um, so I've been working on trying to improve the way I stream them. And if, if, if you guys have been noticing and it's been a bit better, then I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> Some days are better than others, of course. But I've been trying to make it better for you guys. Uh -huh. I might be able to have... I have a question, actually. For this game, um, do you want me to try to bring my 2D back? Because it has the really fun shocked faces... Or, do you guys kind of like this one um, for 15? I can't use this for 14 um, because um, I don't think my PC can handle running both. <laughs> but where 16 is on PS5, I think I can keep using 3D if you guys like it better. Um, or I can I can go back to 2D. Because that was the original plan, but my iPad wouldn't connect. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Mm -mm. I guess, I guess it's kind of good that we ended up... I'm going to put some music on. Hold on. I guess it's kind of good that we ended up taking a break from this game for so long. So that I could improve it a bit. And now that we got here... Um, we are... We are doing a bit better for pacing. So we come back to the game and we can be much improved. <laughs> ah. Oh. Brain isn't giving me issues, I don't think. <laughs> I don't have a preference. They're both, like, equally as fine for me. I like using both models, so... <laughs> I don't have a preference. Um... Yeah. That was... Exciting. And now I remember why I missed this game so much. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, that being said... Uh, sorry, I'm rubbing my face. Um... Tomorrow, 1 p.m. EDT, I'm doing Studio Ghibli Flute with Emily, And I'm doing, um, in the evening, I'm doing the special short story in Nikkei that just came out. And I'm also doing Content Warning with Mally and Ami and Milky Queen. Um, but I might not stream my POV for that. I might just chill because that's really late in the evening and I'm probably going to be dead. <laughs> I also have a really big announcement. A really big announcement. Not a bad one, just a really big one. Um, it's going to be before the first stream, actually. Which is why I need to go to sleep soon. I got to wake up for that. <laughs> um, there's going to be a big announcement. I'll talk more about it during the Nikkei stream, but the announcement will be out before I stream at all, probably around the time I wake up. Um, and... Uh, song cover. Oh, let me show you the video for the song cover. Hold on. Emma did the mix and the video for this, and it's going to be absolutely wild. Uh, this is the trailer. Listen in, listen in. This is the preview of what you can expect. With our cover of Lacrimosa tomorrow. We made the instrumental! We made it from scratch! A 
and that's all that's in the preview, so I can't show you anymore. We're gonna listen again! <laughs> I do some singing, and I play flute in this, so I'm really excited! I don't think there's... Is there a full credit list in the description? Yeah! There's a full roster in the description so I can tell you everyone who's a part of this song. Um, we've got Emma! Oh, wait, hold on. Um, it is going to be epic. I'm really excited. I'm going to read into it with my Emily stream. Um, so the musicians who are in it are Emma on piano, harp, Yuki Sayato, Violin as her sniper, Corns McGowan, Violin 2, Princess Rasta and Hiragi Emery, who is also part of it. <clears throat> That's why we wanted to rate it. Viola, Yam Albert, Cello, Kobu, and Tame, Clarinet, Civil Fortissimo, Flute, me. <laughs> Soprano, Skylark, Weathers, Astrea, Natura, Vampire, Odessa, and Mezzo, Enva, me. And Haruka Yumi, Alto, Jam, Kisuke, Angela, Vanessa, and Tanner, Lavi V. Arsai, Cosmiu, Bass, Sirius Argentum, Evil Knight, Flame the Cat, Apollo Kepler, Glockenspiel. <laughs> I always find that word so weird. Anyway, we have Apollo Kepler on Glockenspiel, Tuba, Felinia Luna, Horn, One Autumn Tea Leaf, Trumpet, Ceylon Cross, Electric Bass and Drums, Melvin Haas. <laughs> and the artist. We have um, the, the frames. You'll see what that means later. <laughs> Ordered by Lavi and Princess Roska. The portraits, there's a lot of credit um, for different ones. Um, mine was drawn by 3PM Draw. Production. Original song by Calafina. This is how you know it's going to be so awkward. So, so epic. I don't know if it's awkward. This is not what I meant. <laughs> and the orchestral arrangement, arrangement was originally by Kiki. Um, it was um, for the Intermission Orchestra at San Diego, but it has been altered by Enva. Um, timing tuning by Enva and Evil Knight, mix and master by Enva, and video by Q. So it's going to be absolutely wild. <laughs> so you guys don't want to miss that, which is why we're doing the stream early so we can rate in. <laughs> that being said, um, I should probably get my waiting room up and go to, go the fuck to sleep. <laughs> so thank you guys. Thank you guys for stopping by for the next 16 stream if I'm able to do some more. Um, I'll make sure that I go to you guys for some suggestions for the thumbnail to make sure we get a banger. Um, because it's going to start absolutely wild. <laughs> um, yeah. And that being said, let me drop my links. And then we will have a sleeping time. And I, I don't have words anymore. <laughs> I'm so mentally just fucking dead. <laughs> okay, give me a second. Wait. Twitter. Discord, YouTube, music, and Malaysia. Okay. I'm going. <laughs> but, 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 bye. <laughs> I'm out. Okay. Hold on. Uh... <laughs> Okay, I gotta unplug um, my HDMI real quick so I can actually read. Otherwise, this monitor is not big enough to load the reads. <laughs> Hold on. second. Hi. <laughs> I'm Obake Pam, see you at Plasia, but I'm going to bed in like two hours. For now, I have to get some stuff done. <laughs> Thank you so much for the raid, but I, I am I am leaving. We're going to raid someone else. <laughs> Thank you for thinking of me, though, and welcome into anyone new. I do a lot of voice acting streams and music streams, and I want to come back to playing a bit more of Final Fantasy 16 next week, so if you're looking forward to seeing me play it, make sure to subscribe now so you don't miss it. No, don't you never have to apologize for rating when I'm done. You're fine. <laughs> you're totally fine. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> but I'm going to bed. Bye. <laughs> Let's see who we can rate.
great. It's just we'll give someone an even more powerful raid, you know? <laughs> we just combine our raid powers. Uh, let me see. Who is live on Twitch? Also, BB guys, thank you for the super. You're new here. Lies. Lies. Mm. Let me see. Um, I don't see anyone playing this Final Fantasy. So let's raid someone playing 14, I think. Uh uh uh. I don't think I've raided Kai before and he Oh god, that's a spoiler! I'm not gonna pull up the image and I'm not gonna look. I don't know what it is. I cannot look or listen. We're raiding Kai, um, doing some sort of raid that I've never seen before, so I'm looking away. Uh uh. Rules! Please adhere to Twitch TOS. Please respect the streamer, mods, and your fellow viewers. Please don't spam messages, memes, copy pauses, or commands. Please no self promo or posting links. Please no slurs or derogatory terms against anyone's race, gender, religion, or orientation. The long and short of this, please don't be a, please don't be like an asshole or whatever. Um, uh, rules to be. I can't. I keep scrolling. Didn't show me the spoiler. <laughs> rules to be added, edited at my discretion. Okay. And we're gonna raid. And then I'm gonna run away. And then we'll find someone to read on the YouTube side, okay? Give me one minute. Hello, no trouble! Uh, this is this is fine. <laughs> okay! Or we're raiding into a raid of some sort. I don't know. <laughs> I have to mute his stream and I can't look. I'm sorry, Kai. You can have my viewers as a consolation. <laughs> saying I cannot look or listen. <laughs> Thank you for your understanding. Okay, um, let's see if we can read on the YouTube side. Celebration stream, and I like to send people to like really big events so that they can help support them. So I think I'm gonna send you guys to Nene. Mm. As long as it's an okay time to raid. Hold on. Mm -mm -mm. Let me make sure. Oh, yeah, I think she's doing a short stream. Um. And she's celebrating 300k, which is a big deal. So I'm gonna send you guys to her 300k karaoke. Mm -hmm. She's singing. <laughs> I want it that way right now. <laughs> uh -huh. So Nene's rules. Number one rule: Please be nice to other people watching. Don't spam or troll. No spoilers. They're my worst enemy. Please understand that I try to respond to every comment, um, but it's not possible for me to engage with every comment. Don't take it personally if I don't read your comment out loud. If you see spam or trolling, don't engage with it. Just block, report, and ignore it. Tenshi will take care of getting rid of them. Please keep the conversation relevant to the stream content. Please don't cross the line with inappropriate, sensitive sexual comments. I'll only listen to backseating when I need help and will ask for help if needed. Please keep in mind I may not listen to advice because I want to try for myself. Please don't talk about other streamers unless I start the conversation myself. In addition, don't mention... <laughs> Hold on. Don't mention me in other stream unless um, um, I'm already mentioned by the streamer. Don't, I don't give shout outs or saying name requests outside of super chats or donations. Um, I may not read your super chat if your name or the content is inappropriate. If you make me uncomfortable repeatedly, I and my mods have a right to ban your comments. Also, I'm going to send you guys over to Nene. Also, I'll let Joshua Patterson. But now we're, we're leaving. We're going to Nene. 